All right, so we um we're live with with Scarfinger to my right. Am I really to your right? Yeah, and you're like biggest crap. You're like the biggest video on the screen. Really? Yes, because oh, you're, no, you're the, I see it now. You're the Scarfinger, so I made you the big one, the big one. Yeah. You know, as we, I, as we it, say it down south, the big one. Scar's the big one. Just makes me, <laughs> makes me feel better about myself. Thank you, sir. Yeah. There's a reason why I like you sometimes. Well, why you don't like me? Sometimes. That that I that I make you the centerfold of the 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 magazine. No, but I mean I like you for doing that. That like that's the whole point of this. Oh, okay, uh, I th- I thought you said that, that that you don't like me sometimes. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, <laughs> because you, because you make me do stuff like live podcast. Yeah, but you know you gotta you gotta have someone to keep it going to keep you motivated. I'm like your what's the guy that has his new clothing line? That's a motivational preacher. Oh, you mean the um? You I'm, your Joel Joel I'm your Joel yeah. Austin. I'm your Joel Austin, bro. Like, <laughs> like right, let's, let's, let's let's work this out. Joel Austin has a clothing line, and it's literally called Sheep's Clothing. Like, he's not even trying to hide that he is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like, he's not trying to hide this at all. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. Like, how just how just blatant it is. Like. How blatant of a fucking dirtbag! The precedent is already set by the president. The, pres- we the president's we, president. We, okay, we, I know, I know. I just we try not, we try not to say it. We just, we just, we just call my man's forty-five around here. Right. The pres, the president's precedent is already set by forty-five. Wolf, wolf's clothing. Wolf, wolf's clothing. Wolf blitzer forty-five. You know all that, all that stuff. Okay. It's all um, good. Live but, podcasting, great! Yay! Uh, and that he is edit that out. That is the dulcet tones of um, DJ Awesome Rob. Do you still go by DJ Awesome Rob? Uh, nobody stopped me yet, so I try. Shit! This this was my opportunity, and I didn't. Fuck! Um, oh, I missed a chance. Well, I, well even if we weren't really? live, nothing gets edited out anyway. This is, you know. Hell no, I don't edit nothing. Nah. I don't, only only edit the beginning, and then like when Chase fucks up, sometimes I will edit out, out his fuck up. Like I would do that part. I'm so, not the like, only one that fucks up. Right. If it got recorded, it gets played. So. Do I mess up? You never mess up. No, I mean I would never believe I do it either way. But all right, so so Chase started off the show. Do you want to you want to keep it going? Oh, you want me to pop in? You can pop in. I, I mean, this is this, this is a lie, rolling. Right? I mean, <laughs> as much as we try to keep the show on rails, but we we are pretty good at keeping a a very random podcast under an hour. I mean, that's a feat. Yes. I mean, we're we're pretty amazing at that. No, wait, wait, wait. We're usually <laughs> over, we're usually over an hour, right? We're usually over an hour, and once I truncate the silence, then we're under. Yeah, but that's the magic. You you're like. You're ruining the magic for people. Right. Don't tell everybody how David Copperfield makes the Statue of Liberty disappear. Mirrors. Camera camera tricks. Camera I, tricks and mirrors. Yeah. I, I thought you <laughs> I thought you only say murs. Mirrors. I, I mean I would say murders, but um all right, so That works. Uh, now now everyone who uh knows uh Scarcasm and has been here for um at least five years, they know how monumental this occasion really is. Um, so, you know, kudos to everybody that stuck around for this long. Um, Shout out. Then, then two, I want to tell y'all a story about what happened to me at work today. Now, I already told this story on Facetious. So if you listen to both shows, you already heard this show, but this one is going to have way more cuss words. So, <laughs> so um, I was at work and we got a new dude. And and um, my coworker, who is a white lady, was Wait, explaining oh, oh, white, what white lady white lady white lady. <laughs> okay, just checking. Um, um, it, that's 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 Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear d- just talks funny sometimes, and sometimes I ends up talking talking like her. You ends up. She's like, yeah, why okay. is she? She's like, why is that, Daddy? Like that type of stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but you know what? That's my fault. That is totally my fault because when she was a baby, I used to talk to her in a fake British accent all the time. So she kind of does it randomly on her own. Um, so that's totally my fault. But um, so she's a white lady and the new dude is a black dude. And he's kind of big, kind of a buff dude. 
And she was explaining to him, and she couldn't think of the name of the person she said that he looks like. Like, we have, we have people, you know, I work at a moving company, so we had a whole bunch of dudes that do all of the moving shit. I work in the office, so I ain't about to move for nobody's shit. Um, but uh, but we got a whole bunch of dudes, and a few of them look like celebrities or someone that you might know. Um, one dude looks like Tupac. He kind of looks like Tupac. It is really weird because he really does look like Tupac. Um, but she was explaining to this dude that he looks like a skinny version of Forrest Whitaker. What? Yes. Mm. Okay. So she Already was failing. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. So so, I, and I'm thinking to myself like. Nigga, did she just say that he looks like Forrest Whitaker? Like, who the fuck takes Hearts. that? Like, as, like, so, like, she's explaining, and then, and then, of course, being the being the fat dude in the office, he looks at me and says, like, he looks more like Forrest Whitaker than I do. Of course, oh, so, no. so, 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 like, that happens. So, and, and of course, like, I don't look anything like Forrest Whitaker except for I'm black and I'm fat. Like, so that's. Those are the only two things me and Forrest Whitaker have in common. Um, and, you know, and, and my, my eyes are good. So, you know, except for Wakanda fix that. Like, I don't know, like, vibranium or whatever. <laughs> Wakanda fix that all. Man, it wasn't me. Because yeah. um, he ain't had, he had eyes at all in, in Black Panther. It was like, what happened to your eye, dog? It's, ain't no viruses in Wakanda. Come on. Yeah. What kind of shit is this? But, um, <laughs> but, Wakanda um, got so, healthcare on lockdown for real um so 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 i say to her after he says i look like forrest whitaker i say to her that i don't think that's a very flattering to thing to say about someone like do you look like forrest whitaker like i don't think that's very flattering and then she was like why is that not flattering i liked him in blah 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 movie and i was like because your forrest whitaker is not what you would call a handsome man and then i fell into the trap (laughs) <laughs> I fell into the trap, and here's what happened. And you walk yeah, right in. I, fell, I fell into the trap because, like, I'm secure in my masculinity, right? So she says to me, "You think men are handsome?" And I was like, "Yeah, there's handsome men." And then she was like, "What? You know, like, what's what's a man you like? Who who do you find handsome?" And again, I'm not realizing that there's a trap here, ready to be set. So. Immediately, I say the first name that comes to my mind. If you talk about a handsome man, what is the first name that you think of? Meef J? No, he he was kind of dreamy. I sat next to him at um uh, when we went to Alabama. <laughs> I said he, Meef J is kind of a dreamy dude. Like he's he seems like he was like he used to, like he used to be in a boy band. Like you know what I mean? Like he's he's like that kind of guy. Um. But so, and I sat next to him for like a whole dinner one evening, and he was very dreamy. Um, but you know, he's super Christian, he don't go that way. Um, which, <laughs> ooh, you should, um, the, the you should remind, remind me, uh, remind me to talk about the Meef J Instagram thing when I, when I finish this. Mm-hmm. All right, so. So I say the first name that came to, that comes to my head when you talk about a handsome man. I say she was like, so what, there's a guy that you think is handsome. I say yeah, Tom Brady. Tom Brady is a fucking handsome man. Like let's be honest about it. Like he's a fucking handsome man. But like of course I just say it. The, the first thing that comes to my that comes to my mind, and immediately it becomes an issue with my coworkers, and they're all looking at me like I'm crazy. And I was like. What? What's wrong? Tom Brady's a handsome man, and they're looking at me like, son. And I'm like, what? What do you? I mean, what's going like, on? And this is a double my, standard. Like, why can, like, why can chicks be acknowledge that you know, oh, you're so cute and stuff, and it not be homosexual, but a guy can't do the same thing. Yeah, like, like they 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 reacted like I said Tom Brady was sexy. Like that's a completely different situation if I say something like that, which I don't think he's that, by the way. And then, so, so like, my other co-worker who came so, in on that so part of the what conversation. what guy do you think is sexy? I don't think guys, I don't think guys are sexy. Like, that, that doesn't happen. Uh, I Wait, think, I, you didn't I think fall men for are that the, trap, though? No, I ain't fall for that one. Uh, because I was prepared because of this. Um, I mean, I think men are disgusting. In general, like, men are disgusting. That's why I don't understand, like... I, I, like True. I don't understand, I don't understand gay Agreed. dudes because men are disgusting. I understand a gay woman because I'm attracted to women. So why wouldn't you be attracted to women? I understand that. 
I understand that attraction. Um, I don't understand an attraction to a man because men are fucking disgusting. So I will never find, I will never look at a man in that way. But, you know, if it ever went that way, Tom Brady. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm fucking with y'all. Um, but, yeah, let's not go down that road. No, I, no, that's not a road that we want to go down. Um, you but, might, but. We, no, no, we no, no, no. We, we're not doing this. So I had okay. another co. So I had another coworker. I had another coworker that came in on that part of the conversation, and he mm-hmm. was like, he was like, you. And he was like, you shouldn't say that. And then he made it a big deal. Of course, he's the only other brother around at this point, other than the dude that she was talking to that said it looked like Forrest Whitaker. And he was just kind of reeling from the fact that someone just said. And he looked like Forrest Whitaker. So he wasn't really a part of the rest of the conversation. So he comes in and he's kind of looking at me like, hmm. So I, I, I guess I'm offended at this point that people will be looking at me sideways. So I go to him to explain like, yo, she just tried to say my man looked like Forrest Whitaker. And I said, Forrest Whitaker is not what you would call a handsome man. And then, like, I'm, like, explaining myself deeper into this hole at this point because, of course, I fell into a trap and I'm just... It, it's, I just it's keep just thinking of the it? water boy when that guy's like, I am not what you would consider a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, and I just keep falling deeper in this, and then it gets to the point to where I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to stop talking right now. I'm just going to stop talking because I'm trying to explain myself, and they're just like, oh, go ahead, just get it all out. And then you blood I was like, well, them. And then I said, and then I said, well, that's not how we, that's not how we say that a man is handsome, right? I said, you say that a, that a man is handsome by saying, you know, he got hoes. Like, that's how you say that, right? Like, you know, he got hoes. That's how a man says to, says that another man is handsome. But yeah. So what, what had happened was then I, I almost fell into another trap, but I kind of did, but I kind of (laughs) didn't (laughs) where, they they were like as she said well you shouldn't talk about women like that and I was like well I'm not really talking about women like if I mean if he got male holes then, it seems like you there's know, like then, then so be it and like bear that's, traps that's cool for him. Mm-hmm. like it's laid not- in your office with Tom Brady's right. face on them like yeah, exactly. <laughs> the conversational exactly. landmines right it was just like yo you know me like okay so if if he got holes and his holes are male, that's his thing. It's not my thing. And then I just get I just get that look like, oh, so you think that there could be male holes that a man can have male holes? And it, it, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to why, why not? I'm with you on that point. Like, why not? Yeah, right. Like, like men can be holes. Like, yeah. so like I'm so I just kind of fell into the trap and I, I just decided to be quiet. Just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, so so all right so 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 the meet meet the instagram story meet the instagram story uh-huh. he posted he posted a picture and it was a nice picture of his wife just um sitting down on a bench they went they went on a oh, vacation blues up in the chat yeah i see you blue um so they um so he he takes a picture of his wife just sitting on a bench and i'm hesitant to like the picture because I just think it's a nice picture, but I don't want him to think that 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 I'm that I'm liking the picture because I like his wife. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those situations where it's like I'm like, uh so I actually at some point someone else says something and then I was just like, yo, it's a really nice picture, but I ain't trying to be like you know, I don't want you to think that I'm like about to hop all up in your mom, I mean, in your wife's uh, DMs and all of that other stuff. So I, I, I would just life. say, it's not a DM. Just, I, so I'm just saying, like, you know, I ain't trying to hop in her DMs or anything, <laughs> but I, I think it's a nice picture that you took of your wife, and like oh, we have wait, to keep it. Wait, wait, we have wait, to keep wait, it wait, wait, wait. So instead of just hitting the like button, you had to have a whole conversation. Yeah, about I, hitting I, the I, like button. Yes, we it's did. Like it'd be easier to just hit the like button. Yeah, but I didn't want him to feel like I was liking his. Like I, I didn't want him to feel like I was liking his wife. I thought I wanted him to feel like I wanted him to understand that I thought it was a nice picture. I think that's the whole point of Instagram. Yeah, but you gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be careful about these things. You know what I'm saying? Likes, you like it, and then you comment slash no undertones. <laughs> yeah, cool I, I put. I Good put. Filter. I kind of. I wrote. I, I feel kind of weird liking the pic of just your wife, fam. I don't want to think you. I don't want you to think that I'm trying to slide in her DMs. Nice picture, though. I mean, you were <laughs> in the DMs. Just 
And it, I had to say this to him to make sure that he understood that if I liked the picture, I think you're I'm overthinking it because I think it's a nice picture. And then he said, "You didn't uh, like retweet said, it with like a caption, be like, damn." Yeah, and then he <laughs> said, "He said that I've been there. For me, uh, for me, it's like a congrats. You landed her." I get it, ha ha ha. And I was like, uh, I was like, yeah. Normally, it's a I see you player, and then I let it be. And then after all of that, I never liked the actual picture. <laughs> but the explanation, though, yeah, the explanation, I, I though, made, I made sure that I said, you know, it's a really nice picture. I like the picture, but I still was hesitant to press that heart. So you flipped it. You were like a thousand words is like what <laughs> like exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So yeah, the DM is to me. the DM is mighter here than the like button. Right. <laughs> no, it wasn't even DMs. I was in the regular comments where everybody right. could see, so we ain't got no issues. Like I wanted to make sure <laughs> that what I had to say was public. I like the picture. I'm just not gonna like the picture. <laughs> Any other Jones over here? I think yeah. you should have just kept kept scrolling, man. Right. Just, just don't, don't even <laughs> give it the headspace, and then you had to type some stuff. And then, like, two people are on it, and it's like, oh, oh. you could have just liked the picture or just kept on scrolling. Yes, exactly. Just keep it moving. I mean, I mean, I mean, he already had 12 likes, so, like, we cool. <laughs> lucky, <laughs> l- lucky number 13 that never, that never was. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a phantom 13. Like, it's like mm-hmm. the 13th flow. It's like, <laughs> it's like the 13th flow out of this job. Yeah, speaking of um, 13, it's um, July the 12th, which yep. is Thursday the 12th. And we had a question for the podcast about. We did. Um, oh, we had snap. two questions. We had two questions. Yeah, because um, the other one got answered this <laughs> little bit because it the last question was actually for last time, but we kind of like I, well, I um did it we too threw late. It out too late. Yeah, we threw it out too late. But um, but yeah, this one was pretty late too because I I think it's better just to throw out the question like the week of because people just forget. You, you know what I mean? It just gets buried. But um, but yeah, the question was. Um, what's your favorite Friday the 13th movie since it's Thursday the 12th? And since we were late on well, the other one, the other one was like, um, what is a good story for when you were drunk or under the influence? So, Mr. Spider Venom, aka Fred Rojas, or just Rojas. Ninja Rojas. <laughs> Rojas. Rojas. I see you, Rojas. Rojas. So he said, favorite Friday the 13th. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it does a really cool name to say, right? It just it's Rojas. I, I, I would just tell people that my name is Rojas. Like, everywhere I go, like, be like, hi, how are you? Rojas. Like, I wouldn't even say nothing else. It's like James Bond. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he said that his favorite Friday is probably Friday, the final chapter, Friday 30, part part four, which you have a young Corey Feldman. Crispin Glover, which is um the dad in um Back to the Future. I ain't creepy thin man. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And his character in that movie is greatness. But um in, in the Friday the movie. But one of my favorite bit actresses Sorry. from the age from the eighties, Judy Aronson. Okay. Not only that, but you have the special effects masterminds Tom Savini returning with plenty of incredible gore effects. And even had the young Feldman as the iconic Tommy Jarvis displaying a ton of creature creation work. It's officially the first time Jason dies outside of his childhood drowning. All the blood, sex stuff people came for the 80s horror for and a nice long chase sequence at the end. I'm surprised this movie didn't have to be toned down from X for for violence, but my understanding of the MPAA didn't have really have issues with that particular film but they did have issues with seven which seven's <laughs> a really cool movie but they chopped that that movie so much to where it's like there's like nothing to it but that it did have the coolest Jason I think but the um but yeah I have a special appreciation for almost all these films the final chapter is a classic 80s splatter and um <laughs> But I, I look, mine is always, I haven't really watched a lot of them. I don't really watch horror movies because I ain't never scared. Like, this, it's, I mean, because I know it's not real. Like, ever since I became, like, a fucking Well, those adult. type of movies aren't really movies, though. I, I mean, maybe they would scare you when you were, like, yeah. 14 years old. I mean, I was old. terrified of Freddy. I, I was terrified of Freddy when I was a kid. Like, I, my parents took me to see that shit when I was in the third grade the <laughs> first time. Mm-hmm. They, t- they, t- they took me to see Dream Warriors. I was in third grade the first time. 
That one's so good though. <laughs> Yeah, but I was in the third. I was a third grader sitting in is sitting in a Freddy Krueger movie. I guess so they I was were terrified like out of Freddy. Yeah, no. They, Nightmare on the Street Part Three, third grade, just getting you right in your threes, you know. So, <laughs> but, but remember, I, like I said, third grade the first time. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Mr. Sam, which was a guest on the show, he said one of his favorites is will always be eight Jason Tanks Manhattan because of how silly it was. But my actual favorite is six. Because it was the first one to veer away from straight horror and introduce campy elements that changed the horror genre. genre. It was more humor and action than scary. Jason ripped a dude's arm off and I laughed and laughed because of how stupid it looked. Yeah, that scene was great because like Jason literally like didn't even know he ripped the dude's arm off and he just like looked at the arm like, I did this shit? (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing, nothing changes. Nothing is better than my favorite Jason movie, Jason X, where the brother that played that ended up playing in Spartacus, um, it would uh, Jason stabbed him, and he said, "I was gonna take more of that to kill this old dog," and then he stabbed him again. He was like, yeah, "That'll do it." Yeah, <laughs> come on. What's fun? What's funnier or campier than that? Jason X will always be like my favorite. Like I say, I haven't watched a whole lot of them, but that the, just the silliness of it. Like he literally he freezes a chick's face and then that it. that kill and that kill is amazing. I give you that. Absolutely. That that is like, that was really awesome. <laughs> he sticks a chick's face in liquid nitrogen and just like bam. <laughs> He like you know what I mean he 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 like salt bays her face you know what I'm saying like yeah. <laughs> and the part where the where the girl is like in the getting about to get sucked in the fa- in the in the space and she's like ooh this sucks so hard <laughs> so many puns man <laughs> exactly that's why Jason X is the best because yeah. I'm I think not he would like to be six or to feel anything other than just like I'm trying to laugh. Like my one of my favorite movies is a stupid movie, but because it's so unintentionally funny, it becomes a great movie, and that is the people under the stairs. Yeah, my favorite dumb movie was Rubber. It was great on Netflix. Rubber. <laughs> yeah. That was, the serial that was killer. The one, yeah. Oh, I, I've, I've heard terrible. of it. I didn't see it. Is is I can't recommend watching it, but it is terrible and great at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I like that kind at of shit because I don't um yep. like I'm like you like there's not much that will really scare me, and if it got to the point to scare me at this point, it would be like really like like existentially ex- scary, you know, like make me like uh, like is what what kind of scary? <laughs> he said existentially scary. Existentially scary, like make you like there was an episode of Twilight Zone that scared the hell out of me when mm-hmm. I was a kid. That was like, ab- that's not really scary, but that's scary if it really happened. There's yeah. A dude on the wing of a plane that's messing me up right now. Like, the actual concept, not scary, but then you think about it, like, too long. It's like, oh, man, if that really happened, I'm oh, going to see it get in my window, and then I would be sucked out of the window. It'd be crazy. <laughs> well, be the episode it. I'm thinking of, it was just... No, that's Final Destination. It, it like, was about Final Destination. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always, like, some, oh, shit, some shit that could actually happen. <laughs> like, like that, that picture, that Facebook picture that comes up every once in a while was you see a logging truck, and, like, ev- and, like, and nobody is behind it. Everybody is on is in line on the side of it. It was like, all of these people have seen Final Destination. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Yes, right. Amber. Oh, she, man, she's like past this shit. Past it. Head is half gone. <laughs> like what? Okay. But 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 yeah, that episode of Twilight Zone. It was like there was a plane crash or something, and these people, the, the the guys were in the hospital, and then one by one they stopped existing, and like the guy that was trying to, f- or there was no record of them even existing, and then the dude like called home, and his parents was like, "Stop calling here. We don't have a son." And then after a while, like the whole event, that their whole lives never existed. And that what? fucked with me so oh, hard. That sounds, that sounds like some Black Mirror shit. Yeah, <laughs> Black Mirror is great and and ridiculous. That's some all like, I, that's all some like uh, what do you call that? The um, Cthulhu guy. What's what's that one? Oh, Lovecraft. Yeah, that's some Lovecraftian type scariness right there. Okay. What's what's your favorite episode of Black Mirror? <sighs> Alligator was good. The one with the the freaking robot was good. Oh man, there's so 
I'm not prepared for this. Black Mirror <laughs> is great. Just watch Black Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still say it is the it is the one episode that I can talk about endlessly. I say alligator it, up and a crocodile. Go ahead. I know what you meant. Um, <laughs> it's the the in, the was it called the entire history of you? Where okay. that one where, where where you have the the thing that records your memories, and that one guy you, like can't let something small go, mm-hmm. and he totally ruins his life. Oh yeah. Like that is, I, I can talk about that episode endlessly. Uh, but I can see that happening because I, I do that all the time to where like I'll just start thinking about some shit that happened like in 2002 or something. Like, why the fuck did I do? I'm like, what am I thinking about this for? <laughs> I was like, freaking 16. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Like, but and if you could really play it back, dude, that'd be terrible. I, I, I don't, Black Mirror I don't, goes to places for sure. Yes. Um, which which one is which one is crocodile? Is it the? That's the one with the late. Spoiler alert! The lady goes on. Um, she's like doing the thing, and then uh, the there's like this other lady that's like investing, investigating a crime scene. That starts oh, out yeah. where she okay. kills her boyfriend. It was like trying to they yeah they kill somebody like you. thirty years ago by accident with a car, and they threw him in the river. And then somebody's trying to go and uh, interview people, but they're checking like your memories and stuff. Yeah, and, so she's yeah. she's interviewing she's mm-hmm. interviewing people about another crime. Well, no, a a, a automatic it's a, a totally like, pizza. Separate thing. Yeah, yeah, as an automatic uh, 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 like a automated pizza delivery truck, right. basically. <laughs> it, with it, the it, pizza. It <laughs> Yeah, it hits a guy. So, like, the insurance investigator is right. investigating that and ends up falling into another another crime by accident. Yeah, and then she can't she can't separate the two because she's stuck on the whole, oh, man, we killed this guy, like, 20 years ago thing. And then uh, she's like, well, I kind of have to report this. And she's like, well, I'm going to have to kill you then. <laughs> it's the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the, the ending is one of the most messed up things ever. Oh man, yeah, that's messed up. There was the one with the guy from Get Out, and there was the one where the girl was like constantly on her phone, uh, trying to make sure her likes were up. It's like, oh man, if my likes yes. aren't up, then I can't get this job. Oh man, if I'm up, if my likes aren't up, I can't keep this house. Oh oh no, now everybody hates me, and I don't have a job, and now I can't go to this wedding, and everybody hates me. <laughs> That was crazy. That was that was the scene. But this, the, scene the scene this the scene at the wedding is epic. <laughs> oh yeah. That was a good payoff. The, the scene at the wedding is epic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um so I mean I've already talked about what's happening with me at work. Um how's your week been, Rob? Well we still had some answers. Oh, we still have more answers? Yeah. Like I thought you I mean, you you're reading this like you were forced to read this in class. Like seriously. <laughs> well, I mean it's I, well it, it was because of <laughs> You know, shout out to Rojas. His answer was pretty Rojas. long, <laughs> but but it's cool because I mean, I, I'm there yeah, with him, man. Like, because right, I was like, did right, we just right, become right, best I'm friends? Put, like, like I'm gonna I'm put I'm gonna put Rojas in the um, I'm gonna put in the in the Discord. Like, okay, Rojas, next time you leave a, a, a paragraph, make sure it's double spaced for Chase. <laughs> 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 right, double spaced, all play fine. Can you bold some of the important parts? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Well, any day now. Who who just joined the <laughs> Discord? Um, she said her answer is really boring. She's never seen a Friday Thirteenth movie because she doesn't watch scary movies, and she's never been drunk. So yeah, a for effort for answering. I'm with two out of three of that. <laughs> I've never seen a Friday the Thirteenth movie either. I'm not a scary movie fan. I like Black Mirror though. Yeah, like I think Scar likes it. It's just the um. He likes that kind to where I, I, I'm there with him. Like, I like the campy shit. I like the funny shit, you know, to where it's like you can just sit down and have some beers. But you like weird shit. You like, like, 1970s weird <laughs> French. Uh, I'm with you on that. French, weird French, like, torture was, porn type movies. But I was, I mean, it was House, man. House is a house is wonderful. And it's funny, too. Like, 
House is House the TV show or House the no. 1977 Japanese <laughs> horror movie. Oh no! I was in Japanese. Japanese. I'm sorry, I said French. Oh, no. All I know is I ju- I jumped into Rabbit while you, while you and a, you and a group were watching that. I jumped into Rabbit for like five minutes, and it was like a a chick swimming in the pool topless. So it was like mm, that's Chase. <laughs> well, that that was that that was pieces. That's a that's an eighties. Just exploitation slasher movie. That that movie's hilarious, dude. <laughs> like I like the Grudge. The Grudge was crazy. I enjoyed that. Cool. I don't think I jumped. I don't think I ever watched that. I, rem- I remember I I enjoyed the Ring, and then of course the I Ring seen I seen Scream I seen Scream in the movie theater um, at least five times. Scream's good because Scream is actually that's why I, I, I thought that scary movie like is almost like. Like, why was it even made? Because Scream in itself is a parody of horror movies. So it's like, yeah. Scary Movie was a parody of a parody. <laughs> it was funny already. <laughs> True. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah, that's it on the answers. We just started talking about beer after that. Okay. Uh, are we going to... Uh, when are we going to come up with a new question? Um, We could come up with it on the show, which is ideal. But we can come up with it sometime before next time i would rather like post it the week before that keeps it really fresh because we no, get the we, most we responses to, we, we, no we need to post it like tomorrow so like we have like a month before the next live show to to yeah. to get the answers there you go. the first person to answer a question and the last person to answer the question gets read on the air <laughs> well the way the way the this score kind of works now the only person that answers the question (laughs) (laughs) like discord just kind of died like you know it's coming back a little bit now that was bad phrasing that was bad phrasing because like when when you and latina mafia stopped um talking all the time because y'all both had like grandparents pass away and y'all stopped using it all the time that's when it kind of went away yeah we had vacations you gotta you gotta boost it up I, I understand with that. Discord is hard. It's like you get you get a following immediately, and then it's like, all right, well, I'm tired of posting every day just to get more people people in. And it's like, oh man, I got to get more people, more people, more people. And then people got beef with other people, and it's like, okay, all right, I was trying to have a thing here, and you make more channels and stuff. And then and then all of a sudden, nobody nobody says anything because the mentions. We haven't crazy. gotten to the beef. We haven't gotten to the beef part yet. I want beef. I don't know. Should I should I start beef with somebody? No, no, don't start beef. Definitely don't want to start beef. But if there's beef in the chat, like just random stuff, I don't know. Maybe because I have a yeah. chat room that's like based on Twitter, and there's Twitter beef in my people, and it's fine. <laughs> it's like that happens. That's fine. But I don't know. It's like people are in here and we talk, and there's football stuff going on. I got people from the UK, people from the US. People on Wii and the Nintendo Land. <laughs> we got a we cards very many, humanity we thing. Many, we don't have very many Nintendo people in here. We have Nintendo yeah, people don't have many really talk because there's not really because we can't because really keep it going. Everything. You know, because Nintendo sucks. Nintendo is like I don't like the internet. I want to be on it, <laughs> but I don't like it. You yeah, want to play look. Smash with people, but I don't like the internet. Nah, we're good. The yeah, internet like is a spicy the meatball. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> treats <laughs> Nintendo uh, treats the internet like how your mom treats Facebook. She's like, I like <laughs> this, but I don't want to use it. I see what you're doing here. I don't want any parts of it though. Can yeah, like, I don't. I don't want anything. I don't want anything to do with Facebook. But can you uh, accept my Farmville request so I can get more right. likes? <laughs> like, fuck out of like here. This part of thing over here. And you have to be over here when I use the Facebook. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't. And it's no, always the Facebook. Just the, the Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you don't like how, you don't like how old people say the Walmart. You yeah. don't like, or right. country people the Walmart. <laughs> Hashtag dear customer on Twitter was the newest rabbit hole I fell down, which is great. <laughs> oh, so, so what's that? What's it's, that? When you when you work in retail and people actually dump stuff. They're, they're your dear customer. Hey, dear customer, um, I don't work in that department. Stop asking me these questions. But way funnier than that, because I'm not that good on the spot. 
Uh, it, years yeah. ago, years ago, I had an issue with a with a lady. Um, I was working, and this is back when I worked for public storage, mm-hmm. and. Um, I was on my break or it was right after work and I went across the street. There's a a shopping center across the street and I'm in a shoe store and I'm just looking for some shoes to wear at work. And this lady comes up to me and lets me have it because no one is helping her. Right. Exactly. I don't, I don't remember that I have on my public store shirt with a fucking name tag that says my name on it. (laughs) And And my immediate response was, bitch, I don't work here. (laughs) <laughs> like, and like I actually said that and just walked away. Like, like what, is, what did you do? I, I literally said to this lady, "I don't work my, here in my shirt that says I work here." That's that. No, that says that I work across the street at public storage. Like, I'm in the shoe store. I have on work clothes, but I don't have on work clothes for here. Oh, okay, guys. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> like, I actually don't work here. Yeah, yeah. Don't um, <laughs> don't go into. Well, I guess. You won't have that problem anymore. But don't go into a Kmart with a red polo on, and don't go into a Best Buy with a blue polo on. Mm-hmm. Just, just don't do it. <laughs> but see, the, the, the problem with Best Buy goes to the greens polo on. Yeah, Best Buy. Yeah, Best Buy is yeah. possibly the worst place on earth for customer service. Like, you, the only time you get customer service in Best Buy is when you're checking out because they're trying to sell you extra shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you go to Best Buy and, like, say you're going to find a video game, every time I go to Best Buy, there's always, like, four or five of the workers uh. standing to the side, talking to each other, and not doing a goddamn thing else. Like, here's, here's the really thing. It's always the opposite. I don't go to Best Buy for video games. I'm done with Best Buy. Best Buy is old news. I'm just yeah. waiting for all the Best Buy stores. To yeah, close. Best Buy used to have a good selection of movies. It used to have uh-huh. a like great selection of music. I mean, <laughs> didn't they like, just announce yeah. they stopped selling CDs? Yeah, they yeah. did. But like ten years ago, that I mean, it was like going into a record store. You were finding like like really underground shit. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's and, like a quarter of their store. What are they gonna do with that space? Sell more washing machines, I guess. But, but yeah, like when you're just in there Dyson's browsing, there's Dyson's. always someone. <laughs> like, 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 all right, so all this place right here, where we had, where right. we had the CDs, all Dysons, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, right. at this Dyson thing, like that's that's who was at the tr- whoever is at the top is just gonna start calling everybody nigga like Papa John, <laughs> like just oh, <laughs> like, no. Dysons, my nigga. We just gonna sell oh, all no. of the Dysons. Yeah, he- <laughs> Yeah, and Best Buy, it's like, if you don't need service, like, you're just browsing, right, they're, browsing you. they're like, oh, oh, you need some help, you need some help? No, I'm just, I'm just looking. Like, but then when you do need service, they know, it's like they can sense when you actually want something. Mm-hmm. You could pass out in the Xbox section, nobody coming to find you. <laughs> right, go. Oh, well, I'm I mean, on the floor here. I mean, well, oh, it, it's well, I that, mean, um, session. You're not really gonna find very much else anyway, sure. cause they ain't got no games. Is but, that Activision, yeah. like, <laughs> thing and you, you guys' best spot to where it has these speakers on the floor and it sounds like shit. Speakers on the floor? It's Okay, there's this display where it's like, oh, stand this much or it's going to sound or stand this far from the speakers or whatnot, but it always sounds like shit to me. I'm like, I don't know what they're trying to go for. Like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, dog. But like, last, time I went, last time I went to Best Buy, I went just for a router and that's it. And then they <laughs> didn't have the router that I was looking for, so I ended up Going up from sixty dollars to a hundred dollars for a combo modem router yeah. combo that fucking sucks. Yeah, I, I um told oh, this on the podcast side. before, but the last time I went to Best Buy, I was looking for a a um a DVI cable or yes, that's what I was looking for. And um, no, it was the mouse. The mouse. Yeah. The last when I went in there, and I was like, the cheapest one they got is thirty dollars. I went on Amazon using their Wi-Fi and bought it in the store and said, "Fuck y'all!" <laughs> bought this mouse. This this mouse cost me six bucks and it's great. Oh, there, there's the camera. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm like, where, where do you think the camera is right now? <laughs> where do you think the camera is right now? Yeah, I, I'm used to it being on the other computer, but I put it on. Uh, I mean, right. the other monitor, but. That mouse is six dollars and it got lights on. Yeah, that's a good mouse. Um, yeah, the freaking Best Buy. It's all Micro Center up here now. It's like there's a Micro Center in Rockville and the Micro Center like five miles down the street. It's great. Micro Center's like we didn't tile our floors, but whatever printer you got, we got a cartridge for it. 
We got everything. <laughs> what kind of RAM you want? We got it. What kind of paper you want? We got it. What kind of motherboard? We got it. You don't want it, but we got it. <laughs> if, like, come on down to Micro Center where our model is. If we ain't got it, fuck it. You don't want it. Right. Go on our website. It was terrible, but we got the stuff that you need. No, please don't go to Amazon. <laughs> Our, our website looks like it was made in, in HTML one. Dude, <laughs> dude, the, yeah. the, the dude in the dude in Office Max literally like he was like straight we got up a with background me. from two cow. He was like we 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 don't even try to like just go to. He was like just like just go to Amazon because we don't even try to um like com- compete with them anymore. <laughs> like yeah, Micro Center is like we. You buy the thing online and pick it up in store in like 18 minutes. And that's like as best as their website can handle. It's like, okay. I mean, I guess I could order it and then get it in the car and go, but I could just wait two days till you deliver it. That's fine. That's fine too. Right. I'm not lazy. See, that's the, that the, the best hustle for Amazon, right? The best hustle for Amazon is like if you're in certain areas, that you yeah. can pay just a little bit extra and you might actually get that shit today. Right. And then all the places, like on the radio now, they're doing Walmart. Walmart's like, oh, we, we deliver for free. Free shipping for everything. It's like, didn't, they, didn't really didn't Walmart? Walmart? Say, okay. Did Walmart say that they was going to try to do that Amazon shit where they actually put the shit in your house for you? I don't, I don't know. believe you one of them. I don't trust. I look, first of all, like, I trust Amazon. I barely trust Amazon enough to like pay for like their lock and have somebody put it inside my door. I've no. been to Walmart. No. I don't trust nobody that works no. at Walmart to walk in my house. Uh-uh. Period. I nobody. work for Amazon. I'm not trusting anybody with that. Like no way. I'm not gonna pay you two hundred dollars to put a new lock on my door and then to have one of your people come and put something quote unquote right mm-hmm. inside. I got this stupid cat that's gonna run out and <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the day, yeah, we're not putting the cat back in the house. That's not going to happen, you know. And yeah, <laughs> like it's just where all of a sudden you get a box in the mail that's your cat right. <laughs> with a smile on it. <laughs> hey, we found this. <laughs> It'd be four Return hours. to sender. Right, right. Charge it to your account. Yeah, you got to pay shipping. <laughs> Like, oh, this, gotta, this ain't prime oh, enabled. Gotta, no, you gotta, you gotta, no, you gotta pay the extra four dollars for one day shipping. Like we'll we'll right. bring it back, but you gotta pay the extra four dollars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the best thing about Amazon Prime, that extra four dollars. Because I'm impatient, and sometimes if I got it, I'm just like, well, it's only four dollars. It's kind of like the trap that you fall in every time you go into Dollar Tree. That's how they get like, you. Yeah, you walk in Dollar Tree and you're like, okay, I need this thing, that thing, and that thing. I need three things when I go in Dollar Tree. And next thing you know, you spent thirty dollars because the whole time you've been walking around this store, like eh, it's only a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and and then you and then you end up fucked up. I think the most I've ever spent in Dollar Tree was like seventy dollars. Mm. I think the best thing in Dollar Tree is they. I don't know if they still have them because they don't <clears throat> have like an inventory. They just have what they have. But yeah. um, they, I bought probably like forty dollars worth of LED light bulbs. Like the one, they're like five dollars a piece at other places, dude. They were like a hundred watt equivalent. Those things are awesome, wow. <clears throat> and they like last forever. Yeah, it's like they're not gonna fall apart. It's just light bulbs. Yeah, I got, I'm using one now for the the one that's lighting my face, which is harder to see because I started vaping when I said I wasn't going to. Because you're seeing I know, me. But you, you muted your mic. I did like once or twice. I didn't really do it the last couple of times. I just kind of leaned away. Like I just kind of leaned away trying to pretend. But I mean, I got my voice meter on and it's supposed to like get rid of that. If I'm not saying anything, it's supposed to get rid of that. It doesn't really work all the time, which sucks. Um, all right. So how, how long have we been recording? Like, do we even have time to talk about the, the, the things that we've been consuming? Yeah, we, we can, we, we, we can go a little long on, you know, this is kind of a special show. Because yeah, oh, oh, also right. we're in the I 360 in still, that. right? Cool. I'll be right back. We could okay. we could talk about the 360 a little bit because we're no, in the look. 360s. It's still relevant. <sighs> okay, so speaking of like the 360, my favorite 360 game. I have been watching videos about. I've been watching YouTube videos about, and that is Mass Effect because Pooh Bear started. I, I started Pooh Bear on Mass Effect. Um, 
probably wasn't the best idea to start her on one because a lot of the stuff about uh the 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 equipment you know because you get a lot of stuff in mass effect and then like you got to remember like every time you open a crate if you get something you got to go and check it and make sure that it's better than the shit that you already have you know what i mean like and that's i think that's a little bit too much for her so i would at least it's not numbers and it's like colors that one's green this one's red green's better than red you know yeah so it's, it's, it's a little bit weird when it comes to that, but um, I've been watching some Mass Effect stuff, and I, um, and because you've been playing Mass Effect, mm-hmm. I really, really want to play Andromeda again. Amber's playing it for the sake of time again right now on the Xbox. I, I've, I've already played it two and a half times. Played but you two play and what you times. want, man, because there's no pressure. Like, like, yeah, you got the back backlog or whatever, you know, the things you might need to be playing, but... But then games. I do stupid stuff like buy games on the Steam sale, knowing I'm not gonna fucking play it. Yeah, but you got it cheap as hell, and you might play it at some point. That's exactly the you're, the uh, the way to explain you're, that. You're <laughs> a fucking enabler. I did. I did buy. No, it. I did buy that. Just reality. I did buy the Steam sale happens, happens, and you buy games. That's how it goes. They're I like a dollar, it. and you buy it. I bought a Steam Link. Okay, good, I awesome. I got two of them. What do you want? <laughs> I got, I got, it, I got it. It's sitting on the table right now. I, I, I opened the box and was like, "Oh, this is kind of small." I put, I closed the box and I ain't thought about that shit since until just now. It's great. The Steam Link is. Would it wait? Did you buy the the um the Crash Bandicoot trilogy so you get a Steam Link? No, I got the Steam Link during the current sale, which it was only two fifty. But see, here's uh, okay. the problem. Here's the problem with Amazon. Like eight, eight here's, here's the problem with here's the problem with uh with Amazon. When I put, it said the Steam Link was two fifty, right? So I put in the damn, damn thing, and it said my shipping was like eight ninety nine, and I'm like, yep. mm-hmm. that's how they get you. Like, yeah. come on, man, do I really want to play? Do I really want to pay for shipping right now? Like, it, it, Amazon, but you that still got the uh, Steam Link for two fifty plus the, the eight ninety nine shipping would still probably be applicable. If they yeah, did because it. that shit is still that shit was still fifty dollars on on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I looked before I before I bought it. I want the controller though. I want no, the controller don't. for two dollars. No, the I fuck you. Contra- don't. Yeah, I, I, that, I want that thing it. Is, that thing is stupid. I understand <laughs> wanting it. I, I understand wanting it, but like the same, I say the same thing about that stupid fucking controller. And as every time someone mentions that stupid fucking controller, whoever but they designed haven't made a new one either. That's the like, thing. I, it's stupid. They, needed, they haven't made they a better needed, one because they great. needed one. They needed one brother in that room when that design came out, and somebody needed to say, "Come on, son, this is fucking stupid." Like the idea that you make a controller that pretty much ignores the language of video games. Like now, now I have to completely reprogram. It was already how too late. Of- it was already too late because they made like ten other ones before that. They well, made they were- ten prototypes, and they were all terrible before that. One had a trackball on it. Well, weren't they trying to like get a controller that had the precision of a mouse? Yeah, they were, and I think they got that. It is terrible, and I want it. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's terrible, but it works for what it does. It's, it's not a joystick, but I want to so be... have one. I, you know, I like the Duke so you... the Xbox Duke. I like the Duke as well. The Duke is great. I am a fa- I am a fan of the Duke, but I am a fan of the Mad Cat's Duke, not the official oh, Duke. I am a fan for... of the Mad Cat's Duke with the with the grips and no. the like. It was no. it was less it was less rounded. I think so you're the only more. person that I've ever heard that said it. That they were a fan of anything, Mad Cats. <laughs> Mad Cats you know, made Rock Man. I love Rock Man. Uh, like first gen, maybe. I had a Mad Cat <laughs> steering wheel for Destruction Derby. That was good. PlayStation. PlayStation I, 1. I bought I bought I bought a cheap Mad Cat steering wheel and I used to play Burnout uh Revenge with that thing and it was glorious. They used to be good. I don't know what happened. I, but I like the Duke because I have really big hands, like for real. Like this is this is my cell phone. Like <laughs> I have really big hands. <laughs> you know, the Duke was like, great. I like yeah, the Duke. Yeah, I, I can't think, justify getting then, a new one for like ninety bucks. And, but yeah, and the Mad Cat's Duke was one of the first controllers to add the black and white buttons as um, as bumpers, as, right? as, as 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 bumpers. Yeah, see. 
Yeah. And then was something was wrong movie. with the the one that I still own. I was like, I still got my I still got my Mad Cat's Duke. But for some reason, I don't know where the other piece to the breakaway controller. I miss breakaway controllers. Um um because um you know Wait, when didn't it when I had way to USB though? It wasn't USB officially. It was like close. Yeah, it was like, it was like some proprietary ending on USB. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, so like I had um, someone that is very close to us uh, trip over a PlayStation cord and break a PlayStation One, and it um, we had to spend like eighty fucking dollars when we were in high school to get it fixed. Like, how does high schoolers get eighty dollars? We hustle candy, but like. <laughs> <laughs> but like so I miss breakaway controllers because like I've actually tripped over uh cords for like for like my uh 360 because I got a I got a play in charge kit and I tripped over that recently. You know, playing NCAA um like two weeks ago, I went to go get something to drink, came back, tripped over the cord, almost broke my damn three sixty. Hmm. Yeah, breakaway cords are good. That's a great idea. Why yeah. are they better? But oh man, freaking then, breakaway cords. <laughs> And then Why did we not come up with this way earlier? Because they went wireless. Um, <laughs> uh, so what happened <laughs> to... What, something happened with my Mad Cat's Duke, and I still have this controller. But every time it rumbled, you can actually hear the motor now. Like, so you're playing a game, like you're playing like Halo or something like that, and like when you're in the helicopter, all you hear is... <laughs> <laughs> um, what's going on here like when I first started noticing it I was like what the hell is that noise and then like you pause the game and of course it's not rumbling anymore so you kind of look around like where the hell is that noise coming from and then you start playing the game again and you start hearing it again and you think that you're crazy and I'm like am I crazy or I keep hearing this noise and then you realize it's coming from your controller uh-huh. it's like the first time you play a game on the Playstation 4 and the freaking thing, the someone's voice comes out of the controller, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, like the like the first time I played um, Killzone Shadowfall, and every they have the they have the, the the audio logs or whatever, and like the first time you pick up an audio log and you have on headphones, and you realize that like it's not coming through your headphones, you're like, "Where the hell is that sound coming from?" Oh, it's coming from the controller. Oh shit, um, that happened <laughs> to me, which is a beautiful but. T- terrible fucking game like kills on shadow fall is a piece of shit like it is mm, gorgeous but it's terrible fucking game yeah speaking of games one. uh-huh what's that Spe- speaking of games what have you played recently who me yeah you all right uh i guess most recently it's been rocket league uh because they got that you know it's the 10 year anniversary of super powered battle car or something or other but more importantly, the three-year anniversary of Rocket League. So it's a birthday party right now up in the uh, in the gaming space for Rocket League, and that's pretty cool. I've uh, been playing some Sea of Thieves, which is awesome. They just put up an update yesterday. Um, you can go around and uh, fight some mermaid statues. It's, it's really dumb. It's not the best update. This is like, here's the update before the real update. Could see you in two weeks. So, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how that goes. Um I played a little bit yesterday. It's always good when you're in the bottom of the boat and then you hear in your in your party chat, watch out, explosion. Am I supposed to be dead? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's how that went. Um the last expansion with the uh skeletons that pop out of the ground with the exploding barrels. Yeah, they're still in the game. So that still happens. And that's always that's always funny when somebody tries to um, tries to sword the skeleton to death before they popped out the ground, and to much surprise, it's they're holding a, a powder keg that will explode when he hit it with a with a sword. Um, that's pretty much it. I think we played some um, Cook Serve Delicious and some Overcooked. Cook Serve Delicious is definitely the new obsession in the house. Um, <laughs> trying to get that uh, Rocket League money, you know, that's just a whole birthday event. Is that the CD. game that come with the humble bundle? Rocket League. No, um, the cooks something. I was trying to Cook see. Serve Delicious did come in a Hondo bundle. I don't. I'm, we're playing the second one. I don't know if the second one's in there. Might Let me be. see which one I have, because because <clears throat> Amber does like cooks are delicious too. Yep. Oh yeah, you get 
put get some co-op in there. There's co-op and it, it's controller supported. You play the split screen with the controller and you're trying to make the kitchen work and you're like, oh, I'm going to cook this and she's going to cook that and we cook it together and and hopefully nobody co- sets the kitchen on fire. Because you, cause you really like those, like some of those, um, like Facebook games, mm-hmm. but not, um, but she just hates that they're like microchannels. She's like, these could be cool games, but they're all like just dumbed down by mobile shit. So yeah. I was like trying to find games that are kind of like, it's just a game where you make a restaurant, but it's not, it's like an actual game. So when coming that came from the someone, home, coming from <laughs> someone. Who plays games like Prison Architect and RimWorld more than any one person should? That sounds boring as fuck, dog. What <laughs> making your own kitchen? It's a yeah. good game. Um, I, is she I mean, a controller? Y'all are y'all are yeah. y'all are closer to y'all are closer. Yeah, she's to a gamer. Like, she's she's a real like, like I mean, she her favorite games are Mass Effect, but she does like there. There's something relaxing for her about like a game like Farmville, but she. So I was like, maybe she would like um um what's the game that I have on PlayStation? The, the, the farming the, game. The farming game. What's it called? Uh, Stardew Valley. Yeah, I but, ke- I kept thinking of Fruity Valley Station, yeah. and I was like, no, that's not it. I think it's close to that, but I don't think that's it. <laughs> I can not get in with Stardew Valley, but that's that's probably a contender for sure. Yeah, I own it. I, I don't know about this one. That's that's a little bit more. It's like they went for a Harvest Moon vibe, but they went. Way left with it, with the whole. Is that a game system. I don't know, cause it like just came out on console. It might be, but I got it on PC. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she might like, uh, I would say check out Overcooked. Overcooked isn't like a, um, it's not like a kitchen builder. It's, you, you would have to play it with her because you need to have two people. If you try to play a solo, it makes you play two people on two different sticks. So it's like, nah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you, you gotta, control one part of the kitchen she's got to control the other Mm -hmm. but um but that's a good uh controller based kind of thing overcooked one is out on um mobile so you can get that on like itunes and android i think it's like five bucks on there overcooked one one is in game pass overcooked one yeah definitely the um second one's coming out in august but cook serve delicious is your uh that's probably your your one if you want to make a whole uh, restaurant kind of thing. The second one has all this customization and stuff. Oh, she's over here making a whole tower. You're like, oh yeah, I got this wall and these windows, and there's like a puppy statue on the wall and stuff. Like, okay, this. I just want to make the orders. That's that's your that's your uh, stress inducing uh, cooking game right there. So it was like, I'm here to cook. I'm here to cook. That's what I'm here to do. Cook serve delicious. You're here to have a party <laughs> game. That's overcooked. Yeah. Yeah, because I got some things in the Steam sale, and then some, because I'm on the Humble Monthly as well, because I started mm-hmm. with Destiny, because I was like, wow, oh, yeah. l- l- okay. let me let me try some Destiny on the PC, because it's $12, and then it, you know, it came with that cooking game and a few other things, um, <clears throat> and then the second one came with Portal Knights, and um, my son freaking loved that shit, because he likes Minecraft a lot, but Portal Knights is like Minecraft, but has yeah. like, it's really pretty and has more RPG elements and stuff. So but um, Who better not started Portal Knights. Liked but, it. Yeah, we yeah, but we played it like that day. Like we started it that day. Mm-hmm. So we we actually we've never been back. We need to do that. She was all about it, but I'm like if it, day two, then okay, come talk to me. Day one, eh, I don't know. But yeah, it was on that humble bundle thing. Yeah. For twelve bucks. Eh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because on the Steam sale, I got Vanquish and Alpha Protocol and the Shadow Run games. Lost Alpha, Alpha Protocol should have been so much of a better game. Like and the I problem with Alpha Protocol like three times. Was, yeah, see, the problem know. with Alpha Protocol is when you first start the game, you can't shoot. Right, you can't shoot. Yep. Like how do how do you make a shooter a third person shooter and I can't shoot? Like you can't, like, you can't really shoot until like your your you get your levels up pretty high. But like, if you get your levels in shooting high, then you don't have the other stuff. And the best thing it's to a, do, it's the, a third person decision maker. It's not a third person shooter, right? Yeah, because it um, because on the on the Steam sale it was like a dollar, and I was always interested in it. Yeah, and um, 
And Vanquish, I, I played that like on Gamefly, and I love that shit. But I just never went back to it. And on on the PC, it looked it plays like freaking butter. But um, I have I have it because they gave it away on place. They gave it away on PlayStation Plus, but they gave it away on PlayStation Three. Rest in peace on PlayStation. They 3. also gave it away on Xbox as well. They did. It, it, yeah, I might have that in my library actually. But yeah, I never tried it because it's, it's backwards like compatible. Japanese I'm st- before, I'm- apparently. I'm probably still not gonna play. Like I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm at this point. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I won like Shadow Complex. I won a code for Shadow Complex from Major Nelson like years ago, and I have still yet to play that game. Shadow Complex is so good. They're, it they're is doing. Good. They're doing a fucking remaster of Shadow no, Complex. They don't need to do that. They don't and need to do that. Don't they're doing do that. a remaster, and I'm like, well, I never played the first one. No, they were giving it away on Unreal. Or uh, what's that? What's was that? Epic, not Unreal. Um, Same thing. It's Epic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whatever that company is, they were giving it away, so I got it on there, and I got uh, what did I get from uh, Major Nelson? I got Oxen Free and Ali Ali One, I think, and those are great. And I have not. I think I got halfway through Oxen Free, and that was it. Major Nelson is great. He gives away games sometimes. <laughs> Follow Major Nelson on Twitter on Fridays. No, don't. Because Major <laughs> Nelson is the reason why I, when I purchased my 360, I'm super hyped to play the outfit. Because I listened to his podcast and he talked about the outfit when, when, the, when, the, when the 360 came out. He talked about the outfit so much that that was one of the first games I bought. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, are you serious? Outfit, you saying, I have not listened for for PlayStation. Um, the the outfit is like a third person shooter where you can build up points and have like things dropped into your game. What? It was That's it was fair. just kind of stupid. Yeah, it, 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 but like he talked about it so much, and I had I didn't have a 360 at that point, so I was listening to Major Nelson every week uh, because I wanted to be the Black E and um that guy um and. Uh, wait. What? No, no, fuck that guy. Um <laughs> Yes, because they they were talking about dogs one day, and he went off about Michael Vick, and I was and I was done. I was done with E at that point. Okay. So fuck that guy forever. Right. I know he gone. Fuck Mo- him. Moving on. <laughs> right, no, you were talking about what you, what you were playing. Are you finished? I'm good. I thought we were moving on to uh, um what Project Gotham Chase. Racing. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. yeah. I was like just going through some of these. Like I um, I also got Endless Space, which is like the space kind of like Stellaris, but I think it was before Stellaris, and it was really Definitely. cheap. So I um, it seems pretty cool. And then you know, I think some of these are black, like Black Wake, Hearts of Iron Four. I don't even know. That must have been hum- you humble bundle. Black Wake. Black Wake come with a humble bundle. Have you fired up yet? No, I haven't fired it up yet. No. Oh, it's like Sea of Thieves, but different. Sweet. <laughs> and, and like, possibly like, not as good. <laughs> Wait, it's in early access, right? Uh, it could be great. It yeah, be great. but um, but yeah, in the recent one, actually came interplanetary, which looks like endless space. Another, <laughs> which I was like, okay. And then um, serial yeah. cleaner, and then actually this JRPG called Shines, which actually looks kind of cool, but I never I heard of J- it. You a fucking JRPG? I want to get in. I don't know how to get in. I'm like, I want to do. The JRPGs, but I also like Battletoads. But, Man, Battletoads but pissed me Final the fuck Fantasy off. Is great. Battletoads pissed me off at E3 because I when, when they were announcing right. it, I thought it was going to be like a uh, freaking um, Sunset Overdrive two, and I was like, "Fuck, it's just no. fucking Battletoads." No. <laughs> Sunset Overdrive two is the best game that will never get made. Yeah, <laughs> Sunset Overdrive one was great, and I'm calling it Sunset Overdrive one. In case that they're going to make a second one, and they're not, <laughs> they're just not going to do it. They're like, Last maybe they'll make it after Spider Man. Yeah, Pooh no. po- Bear is all about Sunset Overdrive. I've had it's it, a great game, and and, and mm. uh, look, I've had two people play that game on my Xbox ex- that that are not me. <laughs> like, you know, it's what I mean? a good like, game. It's super dumb. It's great. It has it's- King. It has um Buzz uh, King Buzzo from the Melvins in the game as himself. Like it's this fairy, <laughs> it's like amazing. I have, no, I have no idea who that is. I don't know either. But it oh, sounds the like Melvins it. is amazing. They're, they're like, we're gonna put video in the game every week, and then when I got it, they were like, we do, we're not doing this anymore. And I was like, <laughs> okay. 
That's fine. Everything else is good. This is a the game is so polished. We're gonna put video. <laughs> we're gonna put video in this game every week. Mm, about that. Okay. <laughs> we did this like five times, and this was way too much money. Like, nah, we're good. Yeah. You know what we should do? Mark- not put video in the game. Yeah, Mark- Microsoft ain't about that life. Right. But yeah. Like, oh, nobody bought this game. Um, hmm. We're gonna give it away and then take away all the good parts. Except for Sounds like Microsoft. Again. Yeah, that's the yeah, other good for that. All right, I'm sorry. Continue. But yeah, <laughs> said you wanted to get into JRPGs. Like, you have a Vita? No. Oh. Who the hell has any... a Vita? Yeah, I have a PS TV. Uh, Nintendo. No, no, I don't have any Japanese things except for the Nintendo. I got an SP that needs a new battery. I got a DS. Oh. Because my favorite Zelda game series of all it. time. Come on, Persona. Yeah. Oh, do I need to get Dungan Ropa? I I have it, but I never played it. I, I think it's more of a J, uh, um. It's not a JRPG. It's, it's more of a novel, visual novel. Yeah. Thing. But it's I, I've heard it's I like really reading. mindfuckery. Man, how much is it? Oh, Dude, which one? Under ten. How much is what? Twenty. How much is Dungan Ropa? Oh, I don't know. The newest cool one that I can get. I, I think. I don't know. I think I own the, Final Fantasy uh, pers- Eight. The personas are not the the personas are not on PC. No, they're no, PlayStation. Yeah, I'm like Danganronpa is like the closest thing I can think of that's close to that. But the um, I mean Persona Four is on the Vita and stuff, but Persona Five is on the PS4. So I got an Xbox. I and we I, I have, <laughs> I have <laughs> access. I have access to Persona Five. I have no idea when I would actually pretend to start that game. Because it's just going to be like Horizon, where I'm going to play for about an hour and be like, all right, no, I'm we'll, we'll make a stream we'll, series out of it, because we're doing... No. Scar- we ca- we're, we're doing the Scar Chasm, <laughs> like, no, stream no, team. we won't. We did... How, yeah. how many hours did we do a yeah. Persona 4, and we didn't actually see any fucking <laughs> action? Like we did, we did, we streamed Persona Four, and all I saw was emo fucking teenagers talking to each other, and That's a six year old that, and a six year old that ran a household. That's the game. Yeah, but you gotta let that go. It's, That's the game. It's, it's because That's the it's because my shit got stolen. We would have played longer, and you would have pretty much the next thing would have been some action. If the setup is. They, they teenagers with angsty stuff, and there's a six year old that owns the house. You kind of gotta go with it. <laughs> no, she not owns the house. Like her, da- her dad is a police officer. Like you are the character that lives with them, and like she's at home by herself all the time, and like she cooks and takes care of the house. And it's like there's a six year old that runs a household because no one else is fucking here. Like what is wrong with you people? That's not wrong. That's anime. Yeah, chalk it up to anime. Anime reasons. And they're not angsty. Persona 4 is so freaking positive, man. It makes me feel good about myself. Yeah, you know, you gotta go with it. The whole theme of that game is like taking <laughs> like your inner demons and accepting them so you can become more powerful. Why would I want to accept my demons? Because that, <laughs> that makes you powerful, sense. man. You have because you own that demons. shit. <laughs> Anime is so dumb. It's just so dumb. Anime is just dumb. Like I can't roll with anime. I can't get down with anime. I just can't. I I just I don't know what it is. I know y'all care. I don't. I just can't care. Can I can I say that I just started My Hero Academia? Oh, it's so good. See, (laughs) it's so good. See, that's that's y'all. I can't. I can't. You want to talk about accepting demons? That's 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 your show right there. You gotta, gotta, you gotta watch like four different series of anime, and then say, you know what, I need to play. I think, I I think Scar likes, I think Scar would like Psychopaths though, because it's like all cyberpunk and shit. I do not care about anime. It's never like the furthest I've. uh, uh, Okay, so you treat you treat your your consumption like your food consumption. You're like, I probably would like that pizza with broccoli on it, but I'm not going to eat it. Because fuck See, you. Like, I tried anime, right? I tried it. I tried it. In the early days of of Netflix, they didn't really have much no, on it. Oh, you messed it up. It didn't have much Already on it. Already messed up. So I watched, up. I watched a, the whole season of Basilisk at work one day. I watched the whole season, and the ending was so stupid, I said, I'm done with anime, period. Like, this is dumb. Basilisk is like... Is Wait. Ninja Scroll the series? Hold on, you took the whole 
your whole idea of anime and base it on one series. Because anime, no, I just like it doesn't sound. It just like when people explain what this shit is about, like you know, like he explains what whatever fucking obscure anime shit that he's watching at the time like Chase does this shit all the time and I'm just like that just doesn't sound entertaining to me and then I wanted to watch One Punch Man but then I realized I gotta One read Punch it Man is great. and I'm like yeah but then I realized I gotta read it and they're like fuck that shit buy it on Blu-ray then it, the Blu-ray's got sub uh, got the, why the I fuck would I spend the... money on this shit <laughs> because it's One it's Punch on Man with, with some with uh with dub now so when I, uh, if, if, if there is a dub if there is a dub, I will try it. I tried it and it wasn't dubbed. It was subtitled. <laughs> and I'm like, how the fuck can I play on my phone and watch this you can probably, at the same time? You can probably find the dub. You don't. You gotta watch the show. No. And then, and then the, <laughs> I the, wanna the, watch the, anime, but I wanna the, play on my phone at the same time. Because the, I do that when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm watching TV, like, I'll do more than one thing. Or like, when I'm playing RimWorld or something like we'll put on something on the side listen to a podcast or put something on my phone or my iPad I can't do that unless I'm grinding um, no. a- anime is hand drawn at least 50% of the time <laughs> these days <Yeah. laughs> but it's hand drawn the whole thing is the art the art style is 80% of the consumption is viewing the art and how cool it is if it's, and, and it's more of a uh, medium it's, it's like really it's do. not a genre like you can't say oh I don't because okay. I thought I didn't I thought I hated right, anime like for so long anime. because I didn't like stuff like the Shonen Jump stuff which I still don't like that stuff other mm-hmm. than Death Note Death Note is the only Death Note is great that's about it but like Naruto Dragon Ball Z uh, One Piece I hear don't I, talk I just, about the movie though I just don't get into that shit what movie I just I can't I just, the Death Note movie Oh, oh Death Note, no. no. I don't talk about that, no. Death Note is great. The movie is not good. For the, 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 the is the movie, the, the translation, the translation for the movie, is it as bad as the Avatar movie? The, the last Airbender movie? Yeah, at least. It's, because the thing about that is, is like, I do want to watch think, all Is it just again. because nerds <laughs> That I do. I like do. Death Note nerds life. hate it because it's not quite true, but it's actually pretty yeah. good. But then someone that actually has never seen Death Note is like, man, this is terrible. Then you know it's it, it's bad all the way around. It's just mm-hmm. not good. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not true to the series. It's not true to filmmaking. It's just like, it's, oh, we wanted to go for the money, and that's pretty much it. We got Will like, to do the voice. It's kind of like the people who like Ready Player One because they've never read the books. The people who read the books are fucking pissed at that stupid fucking movie. That, 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 the that's the opposite of what De- the Death Note point. is. Death Note is just bad. Yeah. Yeah. I went to see Ready Player One after I was told about people, uh, told by people who hadn't read the books about the movie and how they enjoyed it. And, and then I'm asking them questions like, did this happen? Did that happen? And they're like, no. We have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's what the book is about. No, it's not here. Like, for real. The fucking, that fucking race thing. At the be- at, in the trailers where you see all of the cars racing and shit, that yeah, is the first key. The that is the first key. That's not in the book. It's not in the book at all, but it is the first key in the movie. Okay, they gotta make the movie about something. I'm not mad at that, but no, it is. There is nothing. They're not it's, gonna make the movie exactly like the book. I guess they need to. They need to because <laughs> <They should. this, laughs> how expensive would that movie be? Expensive. Books, uh, books would be better. <laughs> all books need to be turned yeah. into TV shows. You know what? I I always said that. Like at least give me a mini series of, yeah. of like what was the book? Yeah. Like um Maybe a better there was TV show. Okay. um JK Rowling um uh did that with a casual vacancy. And I really liked the casual vacancy because it was a mini series and it actually captured the book in a way hey, that was hey, very Scar. very true to the book. Hey Scar. What? Um how does Harry Potter get down a hill? By walking. JK rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> I fucking hate I hate you. I hate you so much right now. Alright, so I have I have I, as far as what I've played, I've only I played a I played a decent amount of uh killing floor. I am trying to level up my support. Wait, on PlayStation, one? but I need to, huh? 
Killing Floor one or two or what? Two. Two. Okay. Two because uh one one is only on PC and there's no controller support. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bummer. The controller okay. support. The controller support for two on PC is fucking phenomenal. Because I just plug in my Xbox controller and it works just fine. Yep, just go with so, it. So that's great. Yeah. Um, so it's basically the same game. I mean, at this point, I own it on three platforms. So yeah. Um, is that the new um, Left 4 Dead? It is very Left 4 Dead y. It's okay. like, it's Left 4 Dead horde mode with Counter Strike in between, where you, where you buy weapons and armor and all that kind of stuff based off of the money that you earn doing the round. Yeah, that's slightly a bridge too far for me. Pizza. But I like the part where you run around and shoot stuff. That part is cool. It's it's real. It's real. Oh, I love it. I love it. So I level. I'm leveling up my support character. Um, and but I need to get on PC so, so I right, can Blue. do some. So I can do some leveling. Uh, no blue. No. Absolutely. No, blue no. is blue is <laughs> correct. It's, it's not for it, it does not have something for everyone Dude, now, I will you, you say, have like magical the, girls in one anime and then you have the boondocks I, I mean uh, yeah the boondocks, you have a boondocks. Yes. that's not yes. anime um, it's drawn like anime but it's it's niggatry <laughs> I will say that boondocks forced to be anime I dub it the I can, anime I consider avatar anime just because even though it's not Japanese it's still it's still in Avatar that art style. Avatar respects the medium. Yeah. I really love a- Avatar, and I really want to watch them again. I've been watching videos. I do, too. I agree. Um, I never watched I, I, the I, new I, one. I started you it. You never watched Korra? No, I started it. I think I got to almost the end of the first season, and I was, uh, I should watch more okay. of this, and I never did. Here's, here's the thing about Korra. Um, Korra is not they start. Good. They started her. They started her in a place that made it hard to write for her, yeah. because when they find her, she already knows how to do three. She already knows how to bend three elements right. off the rip. She's That's like, she's like, for her. she's like a six year old, and she knows, you know, uh, fire, earth, and water already. But so, mm-hmm. like, how do you write? Her journey into mm-hmm. becoming uh, more of the of the avatar, and then like and then like her struggles with air, like I understand it is the same thing with Aang and um, learning earthbending, mm-hmm. but like he got over that. Like it was like okay, cool. I you know like I have a problem because I avoid things in in earthbending. I have to stand here and take it and defend myself, and that's not how I roll. Like I float around <laughs> and I go around stuff. Like that's right. that's how we do this. Um, so he I just wants to that, float like a butterfly. The... He don't want to sting like a bee. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> my man Twinkle Toes. Shout out to Twinkle Toes. But um, but I so so but uh, Cora is is different. But it's more of a it's more of like where the Last Airbender is more of a Nickelodeon type show. Cora is more of a CW. <laughs> it's more. It's very more. It's, it's a lot okay. more CW in it. Okay. Well, we, if you okay. want to be real with it, it's you know one is Nickelodeon, the other one is Teen Nick. Okay. I I, I think yeah. I was I was too old for Teen Nick, so I can't really like I don't really I, I like I kind of understand what you're saying, but like well, I was just trying to keep it in the in the same company. I mean, like, nigga, I'm old. Like, yeah. so, like, I, you got you got to explain this shit to me. Like, so I figure CW is something that we all can understand. Yeah, like, like love triangles and like all you know, like that type of stuff in the middle of the world of Avatar, but like past the Industrial Revolution. Like, that's that's I, that's they were trying to a, do too much because that Industrial Revolution stuff was like a whole nother level on top of her whole. um uh, development. It's like y'all are trying to do too much at one time. It's like Aang lived, and there was the cabbage guy, and that was it. Like that's that was way too much. Shout, shout out to shout out to the cabbage man who was cabbage only man really was great. He he was only supposed to be in one episode. It was supposed to be just one throwaway joke, and people liked it so much they kept bringing him back. And they could not throw it away. <laughs> and then, but in in Korra. That guy turned the the cabbage stand into a full corporation, and he owns the mm-hmm. cabbage corp. Yep, <laughs> my cabbages. Um, I, you know what? I think I I got that game. I got I got the Cora game in a humble bundle, and I never played it. 
That's just okay, trying to so you love you you love anime. It's fine. It's okay. No, I do not. Step one is admitting I to it. I love I just the same way that I feel the same way that I do with That's RPGs. Okay. I don't like JRPGs. No, okay. I like Americanized RPGs. No, you don't. You just like Mass Effect. <laughs> right. Basically. Basically. <laughs> Americanized at RPGs does not Mass Effect make. Yeah, but he doesn't Almost like anything but Bethesda, which is pretty much ninety five percent of the American RPGs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I try. What is what is, where is Witcher stand? Tr- Witcher the the Witcher is okay. Polish, right? Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing with The Witcher. I I, um, I, I went on The Witcher because I started like six times at this point. At okay, least. so the 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 first the second time that Sherry and I went to PAX East, right? We went to uh-huh. PAX East and we played the demo for The Witcher Two, and we both looked at each other and said, "This is fucking awesome." Mm-hmm. And then the game finally came out. After the delays and everything, the game finally came out. And we realized that nope. the demo that we played mm-hmm. was just the very beginning of the game mm-hmm. and didn't have a strong bearing on the rest of the game. So you play that part, and then you get into mm-hmm. the town, and then all of a sudden the game opens up, and you have no idea what the fuck's going on. And also, add on to that, I played all the way through the beginning of the game. I got to the town. I saved, forgot about the game for two weeks, opened it back up, and had no fucking idea what to do. Yeah. I feel like and, then, no and, then, and, and then Blue um, <laughs> Blue actually bought me The Witcher 2 for PC. I installed it <laughs> and everything. I have just not pressed start yet. Yeah, I finished uh, Witcher 2, but I played it on 360. And I started Witcher 3 on the PS4, but but I really liked Witcher 2, but everyone talks about... Because I, I was telling everybody, ooh, Witcher 2 is amazing. And everyone was like, oh, cool. Cool, man. That's, that's cool, Chase. Chase talking about Witcher again. But then Witcher 3 <laughs> comes around. It's like everybody's talking about Witcher. I was like, where were you motherfuckers at in 2012? I've been telling you this for a while now. Yeah, I started Witcher 2 like six times. I was, man, I keep trying to buy Witcher 3. I played it on PlayStation. It's great. I got like past the Bloody Baron mission, and I was like, ah, I need to get a PlayStation. I was like, I could just buy the game on Xbox. But then I didn't have an act to have access to the PlayStation. I was like, well, I guess I gotta buy it now. A PC can't really run it, but someday it will. <laughs> That'll be <laughs> the, the the PC trap. Like yeah. I can't really run this right now, mm-hmm. but when I get that video card, though, right? That'll burn. be like. They'd be like thirty dollars I saved on the twenty dollar you know copy saying? of the game, and and look, and it comes with the video card. You know what I'm saying, Bernie? Right, exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? And get it with the video card. You know what I'm saying? I know I got to spend like five hundred dollars on this video card, but it comes with it though. It but comes save, with it though. I save on the back end. It's great. It's all clear right there. I already got it. Just install it. You know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not about that life. I bought a PC already made. It has a it has a 1060 in this bitch already, and I'm like, all right, I'm cool. I can play what I want to. Now I yeah. got like a, a 750. I got 750 <laughs> Ti though, but it's still 750. I mean, it's a Ti, but you, you know what I mean, it's you got a 750. It's a Ti, but you keep it it's, clean though. It's like almost <laughs> a 750. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's almost there. I keep it clean though. It, yeah. it, I mean, I mean, she run. Right. <laughs> Stuff. I That's can't what you say. What you say about your Dilafi? It, it run though. Right. She, she run like a dream. I mean, right. it looked like a, it looked like the Fred Sanford mobile, but she run like a dream, bro. Right. Two D <laughs> graphics are great. Three D not so much, but two D is awesome. You know what I'm saying? I can <laughs> man, I can play Shadow Complex all day. Now the exactly. remake, maybe not. Like I, okay, I can play I, I can play a lot of the games on my computer, but look at this thing. This right. How many com- retro games you want to do? You know, we this can is do my computer. Stuff. I can run Chrome on it all day. Yeah, you, you got. You, it look like you got IDE mm-hmm. drives in that bitch. Right? How many floppy drives <laughs> go in there? That is a fan. Floppy. Like where the where the CD drive goes is a fan. There's mm-hmm. a fan in the back. There's a fan on the video cards, and there's a fan in the middle. It's an old HP case, but it's got like a um. I have a the it's AMD R nine two eighty or whatever. So it's got an i five. Okay. So there you go. it um. I it looks a like a piece of shit, but I am. Um, I got, I, I I got an i five. I, I don't I need. I need to upgrade nothing. from that from that i three that's in that uh that's in the alpha. Like I was like, man, 
it was it was struggle tastic. Like I couldn't like, <laughs> like like for real. It was struggle tastic. Like I was trying. There were some games like like um two K would not run very smoothly with that i three. It was just like nah I'm good and then like trying to record videos like you can actually go to the YouTube page and see some of those uh, struggle tastic uh, 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 2k videos I tried to uh, try to record and it just like trying to run that in OBS at the same time the, the alpha was just like man I ain't got it <laughs> like, I ain't even got it like that like, bro, we, you know what I mean you my mans and all but I ain't even got it I'm pat my pockets like dog I ain't got it right Okay, so uh, I started teaching Pooh Bear how to play RimWorld because it's just basically it's basically it's basically a top down like it's a it's it's like The Sims but Wild West kind of you know what I mean like it's it has a very it has a lot of that Simsy stuff in it because it's like a simulation and you're building a colony and all of that kind of stuff. You're just telling people what to do and all that other stuff. Uh, I think on, on some level she's starting to get it, but there's a lot of like little stuff to try to teach her. Um, mm-hmm. So that's coming along. I, I need to get her back on Banished. I need to put Banished on the alpha so I don't, so she can leave my computer alone. Yeah, see, so Scar plays niche games. You just don't play the same niche games that I do. So we're kind of the same. We're just different. We're kind of the same. We're just different. I could buy that. <laughs> I buy that, um, but yeah. And then, um, have I played anything else? I really want to get back and play some more NCAA football. They finally turned off the servers for NCAA football fourteen, so you cannot do an online dynasty anymore. Mm-hmm. Sad face, sad face. Um, but yeah, uh, that. So that's. So I'm just playing my little offline dynasty, um, and I'm having, I'm so, and I'm still having a ball. I, I I love that game. I wish they still made more of them, but they I, I didn't realize they still got lawsuits for that game. Yo, it's crazy. But yeah, what I think that's all I play. Um, uh, NCAA uh, fourteen. Uh, okay, fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Right. They haven't made a game since then. Yeah. They can't because of the law- lawsuits. Yes. Got it. Okay. Because you're using people's license and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I and play here's Rocket the, here's... League, so that's the only sports game that's uh, even close to what I what I play. It's like soccer. Is this, and... is this a sports game? Is it really? It's soccer. I, but it's soccer, but with like and... remote control cars. Yeah, but or if or if or they're NASCARs. If um if if um um what's the game? If NBA Jam is a sports game, then Rocket League is one too. Oh, NBA, NBA Jam is an NBA Jam is an, game. NBA no. Jam is an arcade game. Uh, then, arcade then, game. Then Rocket League is an arcade sport game. I, yeah, I'm okay yeah. with that. It's an arcade sports game. It's, it's a I sports just, game. It takes like five minutes. It's an arcade game, and it has sports rules. Shoot the goal. I, shoot the ball on the goal. Get a point. I downloaded Playgrounds when I got when I got my Game Pass, and I haven't played yet. It's basically like the newest version of of the NBA Jam type game. Playgrounds? Yeah, NBA Playgrounds. That's not NBA Jam, though. It's very NBA Jams-ish. Never heard of it. Well, you, you got Game Pass. You can play it. <laughs> nope. You got Game Pass, though. No, I don't. <laughs> I got Rocket League, though. I, I have Rocket League on PlayStation and Xbox. Oh, man. And I have, the, the only time I've played... The only time... Can we get into time, the cross-platform thing? The, oh, if you want to, but I mean, Sony, Sony's a bunch of dicks. But um, okay, we're on the same page. We don't have to get into it. Yeah, um, I the only time I actually started it was when we had a group of friends that were playing for a game night, and they are. By the time I got there, um, because I was because I was having fun uh, <laughs> elsewhere, and then I came to I came into the game and. That was bad phrasing um, for what I really uh, mean when I was having fun before I got there. Um, <laughs> so, so I didn't I, really so even notice I, until you pointed it out. So. I joined. Good I job. joined the game night. <laughs> I joined the game night, and they had already had like a full room. So I joined the game just so I could be a spectator, and that is the only time I played Rocket League on on uh, Xbox. I was just a spectator. Were you like it. spectating, I, like doing? Um, what is it called? Burnouts on the sideline. No, um, when you're 
like the esports the esports commentators what what is that called it's called like something shoutcasting yeah shoutcasting you're scar was shoutcasting <laughs> why the fuck would i do that <laughs> i mean i think it would be i mean it could I mean, possibly it would be, be awesome that's good. I think it could possibly be awesome with like with me talking about it. But like I didn't know enough about the game because of course they gave it to us for free on PlayStation. So it was like a game that I totally fucking ignored until people was like, you know, this is actually good, right? It is um, good. So you know, I played it for a little bit. But like the only the only game that that I never heard of before that someone was like, you know, you should actually play this was like Killing Floor, and I was like, holy fuck, is this game awesome? Mm. Really? Yeah. 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 Trust me, killing Killing Floor Two is fucking fun. It is it is the evolution of I'm the Left for Dead. It is the ev- yeah. it is the evolution of Left for Dead. I still yeah, want to do a Left for Dead game. Dead was evolve. Um, we are not going to speak <laughs> about <laughs> such things. The name of evolve in this church here. Um, uh, well, yeah, actually, I wanted, that's what, that's I wanted evolve they, to be they, so good it wasn't. I wanted it to be they, so much more. They gave that game away for free. And is it in Game Pass also? No, because they, they turned it's the like off. it's like free to play on PC. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, it um, was. But yeah. but didn't they just announce? Be, the... But I think they turned yeah. the servers off. Yeah, so I think they, they just announced that they were turning the servers off like mm-hmm. recently. Yeah, and it was good when it came out. The free to play stuff was good when that happened, and it's still good until they turn turn the servers off. It's I don't know. I don't know what it was that didn't click. I think it was the the imbalance between the four people and the one person. Because I was playing and I would be the monster and win immediately, or I would you. be the monster and lose immediately. And that see, was see, kind of. They've, they've done you, that. I was in the beta. No, no, I was in the beta for Fable Legends when mm-hmm. it was in beta. And one thing I noticed. Nobody wanted to be the other person. Like everybody wanted to play the game, but nobody yep. wanted to be like nobody wanted to be the person that set the traps and stuff for everybody. And also, they didn't really right. explain it very well. Yeah. So like you, so like there were so many lobbies that we just all sat in the lobby because nobody wanted to be the. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No one wanted to be like the the. I don't even know what the fuck you call that. Nobody wanted to be the bad guy. We'll say the, the bad guy. Dungeon master. Yeah, the dungeon master. Nobody wanted to be the dungeon master, so there was times during the beta where we would just be sitting in a uh, like like a bunch of us are sitting in the damn lobby for like twenty minutes because no one wants to be the bad guy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like somebody um, has to take that spot, and they don't divvy it out automatically. Because it seemed like like other developers have done well with that asymmetric thing, but it seems like mm-hmm. games like um the serial killer ones, it's like the killer is looking for. The other guys, when in Evolve, is the the hunters are looking for the monster. So it's like until yeah, it the monster already. gets to a certain level, though. When the yeah. monster gets to a certain level, it it's, 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 clob- it's clobbering people. time. But then that's what fucks it up. So right. they probably could have made it good if they just made it more Left for Dead. If it was just like instead of one big monster, it was a bunch of smaller monsters and it was kind of yeah, like, like left how, for dead. It, when you when you play left for dead versus only one person gets to be the tank when that pops off you know what i mean yeah but it's random so but everyone yeah. pretty much can be a smoker or a hunter and whatnot so it, it's great but um so if they made it more like that i think it would have did a lot better yeah it was a good idea it's like unfortunate that it didn't really do I think I, they could've. piss people. They piss people off with all of that like DLC stuff that came yeah, out. Like that. that came, look, the, worst, the worst part about the DLC is like, didn't some of that shit come out right before the game actually came out? <laughs> 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 and you got diff- and it was different DLC if you pre-ordered it different places and you never had access to that other fucking. Yeah, that, DLC that game came out right when all that stuff they were trying to figure out. Yep. How yep. to people aren't pre-ordering? Yep. How are we going to get people pre-ordering? Yep. And right. it was like right in the clusterfuck of that shit. It's like you know what you want to do to pre-order. You could be purple. Like yeah, I want to totally be purple. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah this is yeah, a good but, idea. But, Bad but, idea. But but not too well. Best Buy got that gold though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm be gold though. I'm get get gold and from Best Buy. Like and then nobody <laughs> buys the game because they yeah. can't decide what color. To be. <laughs> <laughs> But I like green, though. <laughs> like, right. I heard go to Target and get the green color. Oh, man. No one goes yeah. to Target. 
Like, who goes to Target? Like, Target never has shit. And when they do have shit, it costs more than Walmart. Like, why the fuck would I not? It's like going to a what? restaurant that has too mu- too many choices, and you can't decide, so you just go eat eat somewhere else. Right. I never have that problem yeah. because I never go to restaurants where I don't have at least a chicken finger backup. <laughs> Let's go have some sushi, <laughs> Scar. No, if they if they don't have chicken finger backup, I'm not going. So if they just serve sushi, I mean y'all y'all are about that sushi life. I'm not. Uh, if they, if I don't have a chicken finger backup, I'm not bothering. We'll, we'll go to Hibachi. Edge. Hibachi's the shit. There you go. They can make a chicken finger. <laughs> Live on the edge. D- is 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 raw food in most cases. I'm I'm not trying to live on. Well, the I get edge steak of the and toilet. Hibachi, sir. I, I'm tr- I'm not trying to live on the edge of the toilet. Like really? let's. Let's just do that. But it's been proven that it's fine. Nah, I'm, my, my stomach is a very, very delicate very balance. Sensitive. Yeah, it's a very delicate balance. Yeah, I balance. can vouch for that. Really for a killing floor yeah, game night that. store, it's like every... <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Was, yo, that okay, so what had happened that game night, though, right? What had happened is I had some, I had some stomach issues... So I uh, I drank a bunch of Pepto to make that shit stop, and subsequently that made me not go to the bathroom for like a week. And it decided that all right, it's go time right when the Killing Floor game night started. So like, <laughs> I had not been to the bathroom in like a week. So like that happened, and then I just kept dying, and like I ain't had no money because I wasn't killing anything. And that's and why dying. Killing Floor should be on the Switch. <laughs> You know what? That's gonna happen. That's that's a good idea. I would. You know that's what? If Killing Floor was on, not gonna happen. But if Killing Floor was on the Switch, I would actually consider a Switch. Yeah, I've considered it now that Diablo is on there because that's one of the games that I thought that would have been perfect for it, and it's on there. So I love it, it Diablo. Is. If it was a little newer, can I ask Chase? I got a question. What's up? Is that Lupin the Third or is that um, Cowboy Bebop behind you? That is actually do ra ra ra. I don't know that one. It's on Netflix. But you should check cool. it out. It looks cool. I like See, it. like that's some, that's some obscure shit. Yes. I told you, y'all y'all are way okay. cool. Y'all are way more about that life than I am. Like I I'm like I've seen the cat helmet before. That yeah. that looks like dum 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 dum. It, it's really good. I think you would. <laughs> I think you'd really like it, Scar. It, it's it's no. really good. It's actually no, about gangs and shit. You, you don't you, actually you, think that I like watch, it. You gotta you, watch it, you don't and then actually you think that I like it. You just want me you to like the it. next one. You just want me to but like I, it so that you won't feel alone. I, I do have a, I do have a, a cowboy beat by Wall Scrolls. I love it the Wall Scrolls because I'll give a shit what Blue says. What what did Blue say? That's not. Yeah, what did Blue? No, he said no. He said that he said the anime has something for everybody. No, it doesn't. It does because you like Avatar and you like. Cowboy Bebop and Sa- Samurai Champloo. Okay, I liked Cowboy Bebop like years ago. I'm not Samurai sure that if I watch it now, it's timeless. It, it, in in uh, Samurai Champloo, but I liked it because of the you know the hip hop. Yeah, I liked it for that same reason. That's what I'm saying it's got something for everybody. <laughs> but I didn't really care for the rest of it. Like okay. I didn't really. Care. I, the music really the was sweet. Part. And okay. the, the same thing with Cowboy Bebop. The music was sweet. That like that jazz stuff. Like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's some good shit right there, bro. Um, but like, I didn't really, I didn't really get like totally like into it. It was just like I watched it. It was like that was cool. It's got like um, those those animes are kind of like um, like the Uncharted games for me. Like I'll play an Uncharted game and it was like that was cool. I never had to play that ever again. We, even though I own, some, even though, even though I own three some drama, they have some ups and downs. But yes, the undertones were where it kind of sold you on it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm not well versed in that. I can't. I can't tell you where to go next. You kind of just have to find it and feel it. No, I'm I'm good. I don't have to find it and feel nothing. Like we good. I'm a, I'm gonna keep an eye out on all the anime I watch so that you can you can. No, find no, the next, I think the the one great. the one that I really wanted to watch. Um, the, my, my man, hashtag, my man, big boy. Hashtag find Scarfinger a new find hashtag find Scarfinger an Has- anime. Hashtag <laughs> find Scarfinger a waifu. <laughs> and, <I'm> just, <laughs> wait, hashtag <Okay>. what? <laughs> What you just say? <laughs> hashtag, what the fuck did you just say? Hashtag find Scarfinger a waifu. Oh, okay. So, Standard. I'm like, uh, Got it. Okay. 
Okay, I thought you said I thought you were saying hashtag five scar finger or wife, and I was like, that's a very touchy subject in this room right now. Um, <laughs> oh, Blue is not a big fan of I'm, Cowboy Bebop. I'm, I'm joking. But I'm jo- uh, I'm joking if you like, don't, don't like I'm Cowboy joking. Bebop, you should definitely give Samurai a um, Champloo a try because, like, when I, I really I, I like, I, Cow- I, I think I liked it at the time. Uh, I really like Cowboy Bebop, but I think I there's something about Samurai Champloo I think I like more. I don't know what it is, but it's not that I don't <laughs> like Cowboy Bebop, you know, because I really do. But I just I don't remember it. I don't remember. I remember watching it, I, and I know that I have stuff. seen it. It's got I don't remember stuff. It's got jazz in it. It's but it's Cowboy jazz. Bebop. Oh my goodness! Cowboy Bebop went away when I watched Firefly. Like I never, I didn't care about Cowboy Bebop anymore when I watched Firefly. Well, because Firefly's great oh, too. Man. Man, if Firefly had jazz in it, it would have been the same show. Pretty much. But I didn't have to care about it anymore once I watched Firefly. But why does it have to be either or? It's like yeah. you can all you can like a same. Philly cheesesteak and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But see, but see, you don't I, have to see, like dismiss also, it dismiss oh, the other one because you found I'm not asking you to eat a, a cheesesteak and a peanut butter and jelly at the same time. Shout out to shout out to Sam uh who sent me a text of uh our conversation in the last show where I said um uh that nobody wants to make peanut butter and jelly f- from scratch. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, you don't want to do that. Yeah, Chase. Yeah, Chase. I, I shared a recipe that like told you it told you how to make the bread, how to make the peanut butter, and how to make jelly all from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, You're, just ran, just randomly, I got a text that said, "That's stupid. Nobody wants to make their own peanut butter and jelly." Chase, like <laughs> that's all. That's all the text actually said. <laughs> we're giving you the bread. We're giving you the peanut butter. We're giving the, you the jelly. We're saying. Hey, put this together and try it. That's all. That's all we're saying. No, he we're saying wants. To we did it. all the work. We did all the work. <laughs> I'm not doing we already it. No. watched this. We it's already not gonna happen. It. It's we not gonna happen. It. We said, "Hey, this is fine. This is available for consumption now. You're not gonna get sick. It's gonna be okay. You can take a bite of it. If it tastes bad, and, 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 that's fine." Here's, the, here's saying, the worst part. Take a bite of it. Here's the worst part of this conversation, and we need to wrap this up soon. But here's yeah. the worst part of this conversation. I'm saying all of this, meanwhile, thinking in the back of my head, I got to finish the current season of Voltron. That's how fucked up my situation is right now. <laughs> See, I've never watched Voltron. The, I would the, say the Netflix from Voltron? The outside is probably fine. Netflix Voltron? Netflix Voltron is actually pretty stinking good. I mean, it's robots. Robots, giant robots in space. I mean, obviously, it's going to be awesome. I yeah, never watched it's, it, but it's the reason. Great. It's the reason why Pacific Rim is so great. Like, it doesn't even have to have like a really good story. No, Robo- it doesn't. Robots, robots punch monsters in the face. Like, yeah. let's do this. <laughs> did, did the robot punch something? Check. Okay, good, awesome. Did it get made into a movie? All right, then you're winning. And all right, we're good to go. I I, need, I haven't seen Pacific Rim two though. Me neither. It's probably fine. No Guillermo del Toro there. Mm, no, what? Maybe not. He didn't. No, Guillermo you, no, del Toro. What's, what's, he directed the that, first one, right? That's his name. Yeah. What's What's his name? Guillermo del Toro. I mean Guillermo. Death Stranding. Guillermo. 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 Yeah. Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> yeah, you, you was you. I mean you. You were pronouncing all the letters. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> I understood all the letters. I'm not seeing a problem here. <laughs> like, I understood what he was saying, but I'm like, I don't think you're supposed to pronounce all those. Like, if it's two L's, it's supposed to be, you know, in Spanish, that kind of makes a different sound. Like, Maybe. you know, kind but of you, makes a Y sound. But yeah, I think he <laughs> produced it, but I know he didn't direct it. The second he one. He did what? I know he produced the second one, but he didn't direct it. Uh, okay, gotcha. I still watch. I still want to watch it though, because um, the the homie from um, from the Star Wars movies that everybody hates plays in it. Yeah, everybody hates is a thing on Twitter. I I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, we don't like you. We're going to push you off Twitter. Oh, you're black. Get off Twitter. Oh, you're a girl. Get off Twitter. You're my favorite movie. Get off Twitter. That's like yeah, a that's, whole thing. That's, that's like not I, cool. That's like I am not up. in... I only check my mentions on Twitter these days. I do not... Like, I, like very seldomly do I actually brave my Twitter feed. Like, I just... I can't. The the signal to noise ratio was just mm-hmm. too much for me. 
Like, I mean, I get it. I can, I can, I can definitely sympathize with the people that are getting the the harassment online. But it's like, why, why? Like, oh man, it's a movie. Like, the people in the movie have nothing to do with the whole movie company putting the movie out. I love, love the Last Jedi. Never seen it. I gotta re up my Netflix here so I can watch it. But yeah, it's so I good. See, I don't it, even. Who cares, Han or Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, whatever happens? I'm not gonna go harass somebody on Twitter about it. It yeah, it deconstructs just, the whole Star Wars thing, and pretty much just in the most beautiful and genius way. Like it literally destroys people's childhood, but it's so genius. Good. It does it. But like, but <laughs> like, it's, we deserve but people, in people, people, people who say people who say that shit ruins their childhood is like good. good motherfucker you're not a child anymore yeah like who gives a fuck about something ruining your childhood who gives a fuck that michael bay made a bunch of transformers movies that most of them doesn't make any sense and in mm-hmm. the first fucking movie the black one fucking break dances when it fucking transforms <laughs> like who the f- <laughs> and it and is voiced by any f- fucking family matters but mm-hmm. like who the fuck gives a shit like you're not you're not a child anymore you don't have to give a shit about the things that you care about that you cared about when you were a child Right. Like you don't have to do that. That is your choice. Mm-hmm. So like you say, so and so is ruining my childhood. Your childhood is over. Right. Sorry. It's like your childhood is over. Slash, this movie probably isn't for you. Exactly. And I love that. I love somebody put out a meme where they were talking about um, the people who hate the Star Wars movies, uh, the current Star Wars movies, and they were talking about like uh, every time. Um, uh, Kylo Ren goes the fuck off about something stupid. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's basically um, that's basically Disney holding a mirror up to the audience. Like yep. this is you, dumbass. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, Blue said something to you, Scar. Yeah, th- I said that the, the two L's make a Y sound. But like, he's like, I, right? I, I failed Spanish one, <laughs> but I did, I did learn a little something. <laughs> I failed Spanish one, but I didn't fail it because I was failing the class. I failed it because I was rarely in the class because every time I spoke English in her class, I got rolled up and sent in the in school suspension. So, yeah, I like yo. It's Spanish one. Why do I have to speak Spanish at all times in this place? Like it's Spanish one. I don't know anything yet. You got a total full immersion, total immersion in the class. That shit is stupid. The first time I got rolled up was like the dumbest thing ever. She did a pop quiz. So I turned to, I turned, I turned to my neighbor and I said, neighbor? Okay, that's for the church people. But no, I turned to the lady, the, the girl next to me and I said, can I borrow a pen? Right up. I got sent the fuck out of the class. Like, are you fucking serious? And then like the worst thing happened. I don't know if I told this story on the, um, uh, on the show before, but I um, I got in trouble in there in that in her class so much that I guess somebody contacted my dad, and um, my dad worked the third shift, so he was normally sleep when I was at school. And one day I'm in Spanish class, and my dad comes into the classroom, and I'm in Spanish class, and I had just gotten in trouble for passing a note back and forth where I called the teacher a bitch. And this, this is all just happened in a span of like five minutes. I got in trouble for that. She was getting ready to write me up. And then my dad walks in the room. He sits down. The, t- the, the teacher hands him the note. My dad sits for almost the whole class right before the class is over. He leaves. Never speaks of that shit ever. And I was terrified of what the fuck was going to happen. He never speaks about that shit. All he did was pop up just to prove he can pop up and fuck my whole shit up. And that is the reason why I love my dad. And I would love to do that to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do that shit, but I live four hours away. But yep, that happened. All right, we need to wrap this up. Um, Rob, did he leave? Um, I don't know. Okay, you do your shout outs. Um, shout out to the Discord because we're um kind of it's kind of coming back, you know, a little bit of Discord. So we out here though. Because there's uh, shout out to the Future Monkeys because they actually had their last episode. I mean, a lot of our podcasts are having their last episode. That's why we need a need a little bit of a network, man. Because some of the podcasts that are left need a place to go. You know, we need we need a support structure. Support structure. So when we're like. We ain't got no followers. We can talk to them, and they were like, "We ain't got no followers either," and we can just like bro hug virtually. 
Now, after the conversation that I had with my coworkers today, I am all out of bro hugs right now. <laughs> For quite some time, I'm completely out of bro hugs. Like, th- there's no bro hugs at all. And there's just straight handshakes. From Love fist bumps. No, no fist bumps. Straight, just regular old handshakes. Like, how are you doing, No, like, sir? this... Nope, and none of that. I'm not doing none of that right now. Like, it's it's the the the, the it's hot right now at work. Like, so I you're just like sure. hello. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm just I'm shaking hands. It's just a straight up like very manly handshake, and that's a wrap for at least a good month before so people can fucking forget about this shit. Oh fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you finish? Yeah. Okay, Rob, shout outs. Tell the people where they can find you. Shout out. Uh, all I got is the digicast.com and check me out on Twitter at awesomerob029. Um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I do video games every now and then on uh, Mixer and Twitch. You'll have to follow me on uh, Twitter at, uh, at awesomerob029 to find out when those are because it's kind of like an underground thing. You know, if you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know. <laughs> nice. I can I, I unblock you on Twitter. You're like the only person I've ever blocked on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, as, you're like the only person. Like, I, I mean, come on, let's be honest. I was in my feelings. Um, it's all good. I have a, <laughs> a, a Discord thing. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I, I rock with the local rock station. Uh, 98 Rock, um, Justin, Stock, Justin Scott and Spiegel on the morning show, and uh, they're trying to do a hey, your cat looks like my cat. Oh, that's cool. Um, but he's like definitely a boy. My cat is a girl, and she's an asshole. Um, <laughs> yeah, so at some point, we'll have a gaming thing with the radio station at, at, around here, but yeah, we have a Discord set up for them. Uh, it's I think tinyurl.com slash J-S-S-I-G-C the Justice um, Legal International uh, uh, Crew um, send, uh, uh, You can send me your links I'll put it in the show notes to and make sure it. that everybody gets it Awesome yeah, right, we'll I'll make, sure, make sure everybody gets it and um, did you cast? Mm-hmm. You, you kind of mentioned it but you didn't really say what it was about Oh, yeah. Every now and then we do a, a show. We're on anchor.fm if you want to search us. The Digicast. D I J I. D I J I? No. D I G I K A S T. I've been hearing more people talk That's about Anchor. Much. Anchor is great. They, I don't know, they tried to like go under themselves. It was not good times. But it's a good service. It's kind of like a mini podcast type thing. But you can upload like as much as you want now. They're like, yeah, put up whatever you want it's, on here, and we'll find like, you a home. It's kind of like how Audio Boo was back in the day. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, yeah, so we'll try to find you a place where podcasts are. I'm like, oh, okay. So I get a message every week. Oh, you're on Spotify now. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. You're, <laughs> you're on speaker now. Like, All right, great. Now you're on iTunes. I'm like. Great, I should probably do a show because I haven't <laughs> done one in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, so they're cool. Um, but I, I think, I mean, I guess it's kind of like a starting from the bottom, now we're here kind of thing. It's <laughs> like you, you make like a, I think their their limit used to be like three minutes. Now you can like post whatever you want. So the audio boost started off at five minutes, and then when they switched to audio boom, uh, mm-hmm. they made it ten minutes. Sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> but um, uh, a Sherry's audio boo has one of the first instances of Pooh Bear singing. The first song that she actually learned was Karma Chameleon. Uh, I hear that story all the time. It's a good story, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you hear all of this stuff quite often, um, but yeah. So, um, but but for real, shout out to you. It was it was uh, very fun having you on. Yes, uh, thank you. Come come thank back you anytime. For me on. Come, come down. back anytime. I, 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 look, I want my invite to the Digicast. Okay, I want my invite to the Digicast. Like we for a five minute uh, episode. Really, five minutes later. That's Blue. what we do. We do like a five minute episode. 
No, nah, man. Like, no. Th- th- if you want to look, we'll do we'll do a full episode, and I'll put it up on Scarcasm feed. We'll see how to we'll, we'll get it popping. All right. I mean, yeah, we, we, we can get it popping. Let's do it. See like, what you can do. yeah. Um. And so, but but for real, thank you for having. Uh, thank you for ha- setting the time aside finally, because sure. we talked about this. We talked about this numerous times, and, and we just never got around to making it happen. And There's been a lot I know. Of time coming. Yeah, like I say, a lot of people, a lot of people never thought that this day would come. Um, but right, like, you can you know, collect on all the bets, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's a it, it it was it was really good having you on and uh, without her to talk over you. You know, I try. <laughs> oh, that, that show was fun. Um, but um, yeah, and shout out to all of the people who uh, are listening. Shout out to uh, Blue who hung around in the chat. Yes, yeah, shout um, out to Blue. Yeah, t- uh, and trying to tell me about like anime shit, um, mm-hmm. and and so everybody who's going to listen to it on the feed, and everyone who's going to watch it on the YouTube's and all of the other places where we put this thing, um, thank you very much. Uh, you could you could have been anywhere, but you spent a little bit of time with us, and we appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, and with all I said, like for 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 the homie, uh, Mister Steal Your Girl, Rob. Um, uh, no, don't, don't second guess the likes that you put up on Instagram. You know, just just hit the hit the heart button and keep it moving. No, I'm no, I'm not. I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. I, I can't press that button. I, I I was I was so close, and then I was like, mm, maybe I should just comment. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't overthink it. You you know what I realized, Scar? That yes, you're my senpai. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That's fine. You don't need to know. That's fine. <laughs> I don't want to know what that means. How about that? Senpai, waifu, it's all good. You know, everybody needs a body pillow. Senpai pretty much means that you're my upperclassman. You're like my... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally what it means. You're my podcast hetero life mate? That sounds good. Sure. (laughs) I'll allow it. (laughs) I mean... I call I call you my I'm not I'm I'm the, I'm not a racist beard because you're a white guy and we do we do shows together and and you like death metal and shit like I'm just you know that's my whole um, fine I'm no, more into doom metal because I'm old see it's wait, old, old wait, different wait, wait, versions wait, wait, of fucking metal do metal is a thing yeah. No, there are so many like th- when you when you deal with Chase, you realize that there are very many, there are very very crazy, weird different types of metal music that only Chase knows about. Like there's black metal and there's this metal and that metal, and this is all like. Whenever we talk about music, he's just like, yeah, I was listening to this awesome like progressive metal uh, band, and it's like, what the fuck is that? Like I mean, this is every. every- Every time yeah, doom, about- doom metal was pretty much um, just a word that was came up with to pretty much describe original metal. It's pretty much metal that's uh, really inspired by Black Sabbath. Well, where's the doom part come in? It's because so it's, it's, so, it's slow. So what's black metal? Black metal is like... The- See, I told you. What I tell you? <laughs> Wait, that so was a what, trap. What can I really? <laughs> it all comes full circle. Well, Doom, it, it's because, because it's sl- like really slow. Apocalypse on Adult Swim, like that first season. Yeah, that was, that's that definitely was death fun. metal. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I'm in Baltimore. I'm black. I listen to the rock station in the morning. And that's all I. Know. Bless you. She's got headphones on for a different thing. Okay. She heard you though. Well, I heard you, you heard. <laughs> okay. Her. Anyway, because yeah. no one else said it. Like <laughs> we all heard it, but no one else said it. Trying to be professional um, here. No, no, no. We're not professionals. I mean, I'm a professional. Like y'all don't have to be. No, that's true. <laughs> He's been over here. Um. All right. So we, uh, really, we're gonna wrap this up now because this is like way longer than like. When's the last time we did a show this long? It's been quite some time. What's the time stand? Well, on, on OBS is two ten. Ooh, Damn. yeah, that's longer than the one I did with Harley Dan. Yeah, but I mean, did you really? <laughs> uh, maybe not me, but yeah, no, it was a while. Yeah, all right, all right. So for real, um, for 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 the homie Rob, thank you for joining us. Uh, and Chase, I'm Scarfinger. This is Scarcasm, and we're out of here. Peace out to the Warriors, yo. Peace out to the girl. I 
like that shit. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm telling you, whoa. I'm telling you. All right, I ain't going to talk. 